Can you believe we're this deep into the NFL season? We got to make every second count. With DraftKings Sportsbook, you can make the most out of every game day. Bet on your favorite teams for a shot at winning big bucks. New customers can score 150 instantly in bonus bets for betting five on any matchup. Get in on the action with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Download the app now. Use code SHANNON. New customers can score 150 instantly in bonus bets for betting just five bucks on the NFL. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code SHANNON. The crown is yours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Nightcap. Please make sure you click that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And in about 15 seconds, we're about to go over 345,000 subs. Remember, Ocho, we are running that. We are running that giveaway. Get us to 350 oh, yeah. by tomorrow, and we'll give away $20,000. $20, 40 subscribers will win $500 each. Thank you for joining us with Nightcap. I'm your favorite sports uncle, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85, Bengals legend, ringer famer, Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. Thank you again for joining oh, yeah. us. We have included the link, Shea by Laportier link at the top of the chat. Holidays are right around the corner. Make sure you go out and get yourself or someone you love a special bottle. Um, Christmas, birthdays, and New Year's is right around the corner. Let's get into the action because we want to touch on a lot of games tonight, Ocho. The Ravens beat the Chargers. 20 to 10. Lamar was 18 of 32, 177, one touchdown. But it was the defense that came up big tonight. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens defense forced three first half turnovers, and the Ravens offense only managed a field goal on those takeaways in the first half. Mm -hmm. uh, then Jadavian Clowney got a strip sack in the fourth quarter. And then, you know, the uh, offense went three and out. Zay Flowers said, you know what? I'm going to put an end to this. I'm going to the house. 20. Oh, yeah. Final score. What did you take away from what you saw from the Ravens mm -hmm. tonight? Obviously, uh, the Ravens played they played good with football, good balanced good football team. at that. The defense, yeah, the, the defense did what they needed to do, and the offense was just they did just enough to win the game. Obviously, the Chargers have continued to lose very close games. They were in the game at the very at, at the, toward toward the end of the game, and the Ravens took advantage of the opportunities toward the end of the game. Um as far as Zay Flowers, the real yeah, deal, man. Yeah. The real deal. He's gonna he's gonna be a superstar in this league. I don't mean to switch teams, but so is Tank Dale. Those two, as rookies, the way they're playing, as if they've already arrived, they playing some good football. Lamar Jackson, he didn't have the numbers that we're used to seeing from him offensively as a quarterback, but he was efficient. Uh did he have a turnover? No, no he, he didn't have no. a turnover tonight. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had a clean game, but the defense, the defense won that game for the night. Fumbled, I think they, they got the ball back. The score, though. they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the big yeah, lineman did get yeah. it back. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I, I think the thing is, o Ocho, I, the way he started the game, I thought he was gonna like, oh mm -hmm. man, he was like, like eight of his ten first ten passes he hit. I was like, okay, yeah, it's gonna be one of those type yeah. of games because he is completing around mm -hmm. uh, seventy, a little over seventy percent of his passes. So I thought it was gonna be mm -hmm. one of those games. But you see, as the game started to progress. The Chargers says we're not gonna let him sit back. We're gonna start heating him up. Nah. We're gonna bring we're gonna bring up bring some pressure. And I put a little pressure. Yeah, on yeah. They yeah. started Khalil Mack started collapsing the pockets. They started bringing that extra guy mm -hmm. to try to speed him up. But I think the thing is what really saved these guys tonight because the offense, like you said, didn't have it going. They didn't turn the ball over. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have it going yeah. offensively, the last thing you can do is turn the football over. So they did a great yeah. job of not turning it over while their defense forced turnovers and kept and uh, held the uh, Chargers high powered offense to only 10 points, you know, for whatever, yeah. look, when you look at uh, Justin Herbert, you see a physically gifted quarterback, a guy's about gifted. six foot five, 245 pounds. Ocho, he superior arm talent, he can make, superior arm can talent, make every throw on the field. You see him take off on the run. Yeah. He got better legs than what you would give him credit for. But mm -hmm. all I know is he's 30 and 31 and 61 stars. Yes. That's what he is. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, we can keep saying, oh, oh, he's this, he's that. At the end of the day, there's a short menu mm -hmm. in pro sports. It's wins and losses. And all I know for right. all that superior talent that he has, arm talent, mm -hmm. physical tools, mm -hmm. losses are here, wins are there. Yeah. That's all I know. Yeah. And the, yeah. And the thing about it, obviously, too, with him being a superior, 
superior quarterback as as he's viewed tall, six six, you know, all the attributes and being a great quarterback. He also had the supporting cast around him to be yes. successful. But something about the something about the Chargers always losing close yeah. games, always losing close games. And this is the this is what's going to make or break them as far as being a playoff contender and going home in January. Those close games, the playoff teams win those. Yeah. And most of them, most of them are by three. Every time they have a close game, they always lose by three or less. Yeah, you don't have to win them all, Ocho, but you need to win more than what you lose. And they seem to be on right. the short end of those those close ball stick. games every time. And so that yeah, that that's time. telling for me um, is that I don't I don't see how, and I don't advocate for anyone losing his job. But I think Brandon Staley stay in 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 in, in L. A. Is probably gonna is is definitely gonna come to an end at the end of the season, because if you go back, they lost a lot of games, um, as you said, three points, seven points. Then you mm, finally make yeah. the playoff. You get a twenty seven nothing lead at half, and you give it all mm -hmm. back, and you seemingly yeah. haven't recovered from that because you're still losing close ball games, mm -hmm. and your defense tonight, notwithstanding, uh, you I thought your offense put you in harm's way, uh, uh by turning the ball over like they did, is that. Right. That defense has been, and when and that's Brandon Staley's forte. That defense has been less than desirable. And considering the yeah. talent that they have on that side of the ball, Ocho, they should be a lot mm -hmm. better statistically than what they are. Right, right. Do you, you think do you think they should give Brandon Staley a little bit more leash, or do you think it's really his time is up based on the personnel and what he has to use defensively? Obviously, Khalil Mack, Joey Bosa, Derwin James, Derwin James, Tati same yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Do you think it's, it's his it, time? Yes, it's, you you yeah. want to start fresh? Consider, considering now, look at look at what you got. Look at this quarterback. Look, they got Keenan Allen. They got Everett. They got guys. And I understand the big mm -hmm. Mike Williams, mm -hmm. the uh, uh, the other receiver. He's he goes hurt. down early uh, uh, in the season. Mm -hmm. But there's no reason, right. Ocho. You mean to tell me with that offense, you give me ten points? That's what you gave me. Yeah. yeah and you, right. and, right, but, and but you, now mind you, mind you now they playing they playing against arguably the best defense in the league tonight. Okay. Now. I'll concede that to yeah. you. But with that offense, okay. why do you continuously lose these close ball games? And a lot of times you have the ball in your hand at the end in order to either tie the game or to win the game, and you still come it. up yeah. short. Right. Okay. You're right. And then you look You're at right. it's hard. It's hard to argue. It's hard to argue. And the fact. you, Very and you look at their the defense with the names that I mentioned. Khalil Mack's been a defensive mm -hmm. player of the year. Joey Bosa was a rookie of the year. And guys have been mm -hmm. a multi, multi time All Pro, multi time Pro Bowl players. You can't have that when you have that level of talent scattered right. throughout the entire team, that's just, that, that won't cut it. And so uh, yeah. I, I just don't see how he, how he holds on. Justin Herbert was 29 of 44, 217, one touchdown, one interception. Uh, Jose Cardoza donated $20 in the ass. Uh, do you think a better coach can help uh, Herbert overcome those last minute drives? They're all out. Blit. They all out. Blit. Yeah. They, they, they go, with a guy like that, I got to make you make a quick decision. I can't let you sit back yeah. there and think about what you and, and you know. Okay, scan left to right. Okay, uh, right. No, I can't let you do that, Ocho. I got to make you make a decision mm -hmm. quick and yeah. more. He'll, he'll pick your part. And more, he'll pick your and part. More times than not, Ocho. If I can speed a guy up, I'm gonna make him make a mistake. Mistake, and yeah. that's what I'm trying to do. Um, mm -hmm. but it takes it takes courage to do that now. It takes courage to bl to, bis to blitz a guy that he has legs. He can jump out the window mm -hmm. and, and and take off and get a first down. And if everybody's mm -hmm. back to a uh, uh, turn to him, he can run a long ways. He can make every yeah. throw, even if you're hanging on him, Ocho. He can throw a 10, 15, yeah. 20 yard out. He can still mm -hmm. get the ball mm -hmm. out under heavy duress. But I just right, I, I something something's not clicking. Something something yeah. is going on with this team that mm -hmm. says. Maybe a uh, uh, new leadership is what they need. Yeah, I, I, I hate I hate the fact that normally when you have a well constructed team like this, like they do have, I hate when things don't work out. And obviously, and change is needed. Obviously, not from the front office, but from from the coaching perspective. And most of the time, I, I say this all the time: players get coaches yes. fired, but that's not the type of roster that gets a coach fired why they're not clicking and why they're not playing well, why they're not winning those close games, I will never understand. I will never understand. And it, it's been like that for, what, two years three. now? Going on two years. Yo, three. Because you remember when he first got there, you know, he was going for it every fourth down, fourth and two. He going yeah, for it. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, look at that. Yeah. Oh, he has courage. Okay, that'll bite you yeah. in the butt now. 
You you got to play. Mm-hmm. At, at the end of the day, you still got to play smart football. You continuously right. going for it on your own 20, 30, 20 and 30 yard line and it's fourth and one. That's not smart football, especially so early in the game. And you fake putting the, right. the time and the place for everything. But eventually your luck's going to run out. And it, like I said, I just when I look at this team and I look at the talent that they have from a Keenan Allen yep. and an Austin Eckler and a Justin Herbert and an mm-hmm. Everett and all those guys at the skill position, Ocho, there ain't no way, ain't no way right. they're supposed to be playing like this. You're right. You're right. You're right. It's, it, 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 I, you know, the, the funny thing about it is when you have a team constructed like this on both sides of the ball, I, I would almost say damn near equivalent to somewhat of the 49ers. I'm not saying they're the 49ers. I'm just saying as far as the personnel in comparison on teams, mm-hmm. they should be playing that type For of sure. football or they're getting the same type of results that the yeah. 49ers do with their squad. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. What probably the game of the day, the Eagles beat the Bills in overtime 37-34. Ooh. And remember we talked about this a couple of weeks. Uh, uh, I think about That two was weeks a ago. great – that was a phenomenal game. Um, Jalen Hurts. Ocho, he started four of eleven for thirty three yards and an interception in the yeah. first half. Yeah, horrible. And he rallied. He, he ends half. up throwing for two hundred yards, three touchdowns in mm-hmm. the second half. He added another sixty five mm-hmm. yards rushing and two touchdowns. Mm-hmm. Now he has eleven multi touch rush touchdown games in his career, breaking mm-hmm. a tie with Cam Newton for the most by a quarterback in the Super Bowl era. Uh, last week, Josh Allen was caught by NFL film declaring. Feel, uh, I feel like I'm effing back. His statement also came against the Giants. I mean, the Jets. Josh Allen now is 0-6 in overtime. He was 29 of 51, 339, two touchdowns and an interception. Yeah. He also had two scores on the ground, a team high 81 rushing yards. What was mm-hmm. what was one of your what was some of your takeaways from this ball game? I mean, obviously the Eagles didn't play well in the first half. Jalen Hurst didn't play well in the first half. Um, the Bills. I thought the Bills were going to come away with this one. Obviously, Josh Allen being 0-5 well, before the game had ended and obviously looking like they were going to win the game. I was not not hoping. I'm not going to say I was hoping, but Josh has been playing extremely bad. Obviously, they played the Jets. I'm really not counting that win because the Jets are a bad team. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm not going to count that win. So I, I was hoping this would have been good motivation. This was, would have been a good um, what's what I'm like, a good confidence builder good omen. You know, for the team. Yeah. A, a good one, especially beating the Eagles team. Obviously, that is nine and one, or maybe eight and one at the time. Mm-hmm. I got my numbers confused, but e- either way, I th- it would have been great for them to finish this game off yes. the right way. I thought they had it in the bag. I honestly did. I thought they had it in the bag. Obviously, the Eagles, they go, they're going to the playoffs. They're going to the playoffs. They're going to make a long run. The Bills, I don't know what's going to happen. Obviously, they were six and five coming into the game. They haven't been playing well. They've been very up and down mm-hmm. all season long. Diggs hasn't been happy. Josh Allen been happy. Gabe Davis, not one goddamn target last week against the Jets. Not one target. You he know, missed he, it. He had a he had a, Josh he missed had him today in OT. Game. Had it for a touchdown. They came with the yeah. bomb. Yeah. They, had, they, yeah. they came to blow it up and he had him and he missed him. Mm-hmm. Now I don't yeah. like uh, do, do do we blame Mother Nature a no. little bit? Do we do we blame Ocho, Mother Did you no. see the guy kick the 59 yard field goal in that driving rainstorm? Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh, and that yeah. would have been good. It, the ball looked oh, yeah. like it had been good. It looked like it had been good from 65, 70. About 60. Because yeah. they hit the yeah, back it, of the net. Good, good kick. Mm-hmm. So that was a good kick. Good kick. Good, a good clutch yeah. kick at that. But it, now I don't know how they look. We were taught like when somebody comes on the bomb blitz and we're outside, we stay mm-hmm. outside. Mm-hmm. If you're right. inside and they come with the bomb blitz, you try to cross the guy's face. Okay. Face, but yeah. in a situation like Ocho, you can't miss that throw, Ocho. You can't. Yeah, you can't mm-hmm. because remember right. everybody was up in arm. Oh, if the Bills had got the ball in overtime against the Chiefs, they'd have won the game. They'd have won the game. Well, they had the opportunity to Ta-da. do that just now. They had, they had that. Yeah, they had the opportunity. They had an opportunity. They had the opportunity. And I don't like the. I don't like. I don't like to make excuses, but some a hey, unk man playing in that rain, it, it handicaps you a little bit. It handicaps us. You know, you catching the ball, it handicaps you throwing the ball and just being efficient as you would if it was dry. I'm not making no excuses. I'm I'm just saying, I'm just taking it to the I mean, account Devontae Smith didn't have was, no time, was, didn't have a hard time catching it. Zacchaeus caught one at the back of the end zone. He didn't have a hard time catching it. Oh, yeah, that, 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 that was yeah. a nice catch too in the back of the end zone. But, yeah, but, the, nice. but the, the, the thing is, Ocho, the, the, the bill seems to be in control of this game. And then Josh mm-hmm. get booed by a trap corner. Bradbury rolled up on him. Yeah. Come on, bro. You got to hey, see that. Listen. You think he can see that, that though? Trap. 
it 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 it, 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 was, it was it was so quick. It it, it was so Ocho. quick. I I thought. Listen, even after I had to wait to see the replay, I thought he was gambling, and then I noticed trap. instead of he was supposed he was, he was supposed to be um you know dropping to the dropping yeah. back in the zone. He said, "Man, f that." Man, he jumped that so quick because you know why? What the formation tell you in a situation like that? What they gonna try to do? Mm -hmm. Try to get a cheap five? Because because yeah. guess what? That's a that's a that's a that's a core that's a, a a wide receiver on a linebacker. So what they gonna do? Mm -hmm. Push up, mm -hmm. run your little stick route. Push up, yep, yep. And they they knew it. It's like it's damn near like they baited them into that. Yeah. And and played trap at the they right did. time. They, and, and and some a hey, in a situation like that. You're getting desperate. You got to make it because the last thing you can do is fall and fail. It could could go down by another score. That's the last, especially a touchdown, right. Ocho. A field a field yeah. goal doesn't doom you, but man, to go down a touchdown, a, a, another score there, a touchdown there, yeah. that that might yeah, that might pressure. have lasting effects. But Gip, mm -hmm. I said this. Hold on, two weeks ago, I said Jalen Hurts. I've never seen. I, I don't know if I've seen somebody quite like him. He can have the most mundane, the most mediocre game, mm -hmm. and they're just flailing around on both sides of the ball. Mm -hmm. But come right. fourth quarter, if that game is close, he'll find a way to pull it out. Every, every time. time. And he, he's done it. He's done it consistently every time. We just time. saw it Monday night against the Chiefs. He just flailing mm -hmm. around, ain't nothing going their way. Then all of a sudden, the fourth yeah. quarter, the game's close, and then he makes a play. He believes. Mm -hmm. I mean, he is just like, so calm. He's the perfect person to play in Philly because he understands mm -hmm. how fickle the the Philly fans are. They're going to love yeah, you. Yeah. They're going to boo you. He just mm -hmm. rides the wave. He don't get too high. Mm -hmm. He don't get too low. Don't I mean, low, you know, hey, right in between. all the seller he's like, look, I'm supposed to do this. I keep the main mm -hmm. thing, the main thing. I don't get high <laughs> when it's, when it's good. I don't get low when it's bad. I just when stay bad, even yeah. keel. And good things happen. Mm -hmm. That was a phenomenal game. Yeah. That was a good look. Whew. And then, you know, I, I think they, they, I think they still, don't they play the Eagles? No, Buffalo. I think, who got the, no, no, the Eagles got San Francisco next week, right? Because the 49ers they still do? got Buffalo, the Eagles, and the Cowboys. If I, no, 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 no. It's prime no. time, huh? Eagles have, yeah. okay. The Eagles have the Niners, uh, mm -hmm. Cowboys. Seahawks. Oh, and the Bills still Seahawks, got. Don't okay, the Bills okay, have okay. the Niners also? The Bills because the Bills. Okay, okay. The Bills have Chiefs, Cowboys, Dolphins. The Chiefs. Ooh. Oh wait, that's the, that's the the next yeah. three. Philly, Philly, it, it Philly, get, Philly uh, got Philly got ugly. Niners, Cowboys, mm -hmm. Seahawks. Bills got. Chiefs, Cowboys, Dolphins. Boy, it can, boy, it can get ugly. Well, I'm not 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 for the Eagles. Listen, the Eagles, what Eagles ten and one yeah. now, right? Well, they sitting, sitting pretty. pretty. They sitting real pretty. They could look the, if they the, if they if they win these two games against they. Deal, they I mean, they're the number one seed. No, but you can't catch them because they would have yeah. they would yeah, they will have beaten the Cowboys twice. So they have a two, mm -hmm. so that's like a three zero lead right there in the division. Right, and if they and, right. and if they beat the 49ers, the 49ers will have four losses, mm -hmm. and it's a and it's a conference opponent. So right. it'll be a basically it's a death blow for the number one seed. Anybody trying to catch the number one seed, that means the Eagles will lock that up. I mean, and then I'm looking at the Bills' schedule. The not well, the the next three games. I think if they don't improve a, a show some sign of Something, if they lose to the Dolphins, that's going to be well, tough. If they lose to the Dolphins, the Dolphins, that's probably going to end the game. division. But I, I think they're going to lose to. I'm thinking they're going to lose to the. They're not going to because the Dolphins gonna, are eight and three, right? If I'm not mistaken, the Dolphins are eight and three. Then, you, then you say they got who else? They got you say they got the who who, who, who you, who you got? Uh, uh, the Bills. I'm talking about the Bills. I'm talking about the, the Bills. Bills. Got the Chiefs, the Cowboys, the and the Dolphins. It, it could get ugly. It could get they they might lose two of the next three, and I think hair is gonna roll if that happens. Yeah. Well, something gonna. Well, Sean McDermott wanted to call the plays. Leslie Frazier left. They had a very good. I had an outstanding defense. Leslie Frazier was mm -hmm. doing a great job, mm -hmm. and you know Sean McDermott wanted to take over the play calling. Okay, Whoop, there it is. Right. Different ball game. There it huh? is. Take it over. You and got it. Defensively, it did. 
Defensively, it didn't hurt when Milano went down. Oh, uh, Milano, Tredavious White. Um, right. Yeah, Bond right. hasn't gotten back into shape. Bond's a little older now. Mm. He's coming off a, a, right. an ACL injury. Um, mm-hmm. It's rough. It's, it's tough to be able yeah. to, to get back to what you once were as you start to age. Yeah. Those injuries start to take it at you once you get to a certain mm-hmm. point, Ocho. Um, yeah. CJ Stroud. I don't, let me see, um, excuse me. Did you see this? CJ Stroud rubbed Texas fans the wrong way when a uh when he was on Auxiliary Money podcast and asked to choose yeah. between LA women and Houston women. And he said, uh, LA girls over Houston girls, and it's not even close. Saying Houston girls are fake bougie. He also complained about mm. the food scene, saying the food has been gassed up here. Um how, how do you think? How do you think he should have handled that? You got you got to be you got to be careful what you say. You the franchise quarterback, baby. You are gonna be in Houston the next got, what? 15 10, years. 11, 12, 13, 15 years. You know you, you, you got to hype your people up. So, uh, yeah, you 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 got to be careful. But obviously he's he's from mm-hmm. L.A. He's from L.A. He's he's just getting to Houston. He's just getting his feet wet uh, and understanding the culture in Houston. Obviously the food is something that people visit and love. Turkey leg hut to to yeah. be exact. Uh, the women in Houston. I don't frequent Houston, you know, very um, much, but I've I've heard good I've heard good about things about it too, Ocho. I heard yeah, good I've, I've, I've heard great things about him. I've, I really haven't frequent. I haven't dated anyone from Houston, okay. but um, he, you got to be careful. You got to be careful when when they, when you get asked questions like that. You got to plead the fifth, and if you got to lie, just lie and say something. And you positive. know what, Ocho? Hey, I like both places. There are beautiful women in LA. Mm-hmm. There are beautiful women in Houston. Yeah. It just all yeah. hey, what's your flavor? What you like? Because both places yeah. got them. The cuisine, look, yeah. LA, look, LA got restaurants, but Houston, if you like soul food, it's hard for me to believe that there ain't no good soul food places in Houston. There are no good barbecue oh, joints yeah, in is. Houston. It's hard for me. Be- now, maybe mm. that's not his flavor. Maybe that's not his cuisine. Mm. Maybe he's more of a mm-hmm. sushi. Uh, I'm sure they have sushi places, but Cali, I mean, look, mm. you're on the water. So you know you're going to get the freshest uh, uh, sushi or whatever you want, vegan yeah. restaurants or whatever that, that mm. you know. Hey, whatever it is. But I just think the thing is, he's young. He has to understand that he got to be a politician. When you're the quarterback, yeah. you have to be more politician as mm-hmm. opposed to being sometimes, hey, you can't always be honest. You can't always give your mm-hmm. true feelings on certain things given the position that right. he's in. Right. Yeah, he'll understand. Yeah, it. He'll understand. Yeah. It's all about being, it's all about be, it's all about being media savvy. He'll learn yeah, as he yeah, goes. that's what you like to do. But listen, but but the, but the way he planned, the way he planned yeah. right now, he can get away yeah. with it. He can he can get away with it. Yeah. So I just think the thing is that that's something that you know his 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 handlers will get around him and handle him. And says, hey, if something mm-hmm. like this comes up again, say, hey, there are beautiful women all over the world. Hey, I live in. <laughs> hey, I I was born and raised in L.A. Obviously. Hey, I uh, um playing in Houston now. I have a girlfriend or I have someone in my life. So I don't look, but mm-hmm. I'm sure there's beautiful women all over the place. And so, you know, you, you play it like that and, and you and you move on. But uh, uh, you, you start getting on these shows like this. They, sometimes they walk into a trap when you didn't really know that you didn't really know that you were walking into. Mm-hmm. It'd be harmless, yeah. too. Yeah. No, no ill intent. CJ Stroud became the first rookie in league history to record 300 passing yard games in four straight games. So he's thrown for at least 300 yards in four straight games. Led the Texans on 11 play, 45 yard uh, a drive late in the fourth quarter to set up a game time field goal, and Matt Amendola uh, uh, missed it. Uh, but Amendola it, kick, yeah. I mean, I mean that's hard to say he missed it. I mean he, he 58 yards. I mean what like it was 28 yards. It was 58 yards and he hit the crossbar, the middle of the crossbar. Crossbar, yeah, uh, and bounced the wrong way. And uh, 58 crossbar fell short, clinching the Jags' seventh win in eight games. So that would have really put some pressure if they could have got the game in the overtime and actually won the game, Ocho. Yeah. That would have really mm-hmm. put some pressure on the Jags because they would have taken two games off the Jags. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah. I, but I like what I, I like what I saw uh, from from the Texans. Uh, I like Tank Dale. I love Nico Collins, Noah Brown. Although he didn't have a big game today, they have the skill positions around him to be successful. Mm-hmm. Give, but yeah. give uh, uh, the Jags credit. They came in there with a sense of urgency mm-hmm. that they knew they could ill afford to lose this game and let them yeah. have a, a sweep over them in the division. Yeah, yeah, it was, I, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it as well. Obviously, Tank Dale, man, is 
man, dude, unbelievable. Yeah. Obviously, I remember watching him and I remember watching him in the senior bowl and seeing the difference in him and everybody else and his ability to create separation and, and run routes. And I had wondered to myself, you know what? It looked good against him, but I wonder how it would transition into the NFL and on Sundays. And by God almighty, it has transitioned extremely well. And he's become, obviously, he become his security yeah. blanket. No, mo most of the time as a rookie quarterback, your security blanket is most of the time it's your tight yeah. end. Most of the time it's your tight end. And the fact that him and Tank Dale have the chemistry and they're excelling this early already, it's going to they're gonna be nice. It's going to be very, very Me nice. He has a nice, he has a nice little little repertoire of receivers around him. And the fact of in the fact of the matter, he's getting it done without true superstar number one yeah. guys. No, no superstars, dudes that are just hard. I, I call them hard hat. Hard hat, go out there and get the job done type receiver. I receivers. think in situations like this, when you're dealing with a young quarterback, I think these kind of guys work best with him because he don't have to force the ball to him. You know, when you got oh, a true okay, number one, when you got one of them old school number ones, he gonna get in that rookie's yeah, yeah, ear. Yeah. Man, give me that. Hey, yeah. bro, give me that rock. And you know he's going to defer. Yeah. I see but you now mean, he right. got a Nico right. Collins. Now he has a Tank Dale. He has guys that, like, mm -hmm. okay, I give it to you. I get it to you. I, hey, he's open. I gave mm -hmm. it to him. Not a situation where, hey, bro, what's up? Hey, you know I'm, hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm top dog here. So I think sometimes, Ocho, yeah. in situations like what he is with C.J. Stroud, I think having these young mm -hmm. guys, I think that works best for him. The Steelers yeah. go to Cincinnati, beat your Bengals 16-10. It looks like Matt Canada might have been the issue. The 16 part points are nothing to write home about. But this was the Steelers' first game in which they've had 400-plus offensive yards in 58 yeah. games. In 44 of those games, Matt Canada was the OC. Kenny Pickett, 24-33, 278 yards. His completion percentage, 72.7%, was well above his previous mm -hmm. high of 68%. But, but I know you saw this. Deontay Johnson. Yeah. Bro, and you drop a touchdown and then you walk off the ball and the ball is fumbled mm -hmm. and you don't do nothing. Listen, well, you know, um, you 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 play you play tight end, and I, I can I can attest to what Deontay did on a third and short, what most of the time, which many of us as receivers do, is we walk off the ball like that, and you know normally we engage with the person with the DB in front of us. To make sure to see if we got the first or not, he didn't engage with anybody, and he didn't look. He didn't look he didn't down do to see if. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. So it, I, I can't even take up for him. Just the walking off the ball part. That we all do that. We all Ocho, do that. But part, not front side. Short. Okay, you backside. Oh, front yeah, he side. Was front side. That's how the ball popped out. He was front side. Remember, well, he didn't chase. Wait, he, well, hold, 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 hold on, now. Wait a minute. I know it was front side, but I'm just saying it was third and yes, short. Yes, but I'm saying. Yeah, third and short. Normally, it's a it's a dive or something in the A-gap, and you normally engage with your dude and just see and see if you get the first no, or hell not. Nah. But he 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 wasn't even paying attention, Ooh, though. But see, he wasn't even paying attention. Well, I don't know. I guess y'all wasn't a running team. Man, look here. Mike Shanahan, man, mm -hmm. if Ed and Rob would have walked off the ball. Right. Man, first yeah. of all, Alex, Alex, Alex Gibbs with our old line coach. Man, Alex would have ran yeah. out because you know back then they didn't have those cordless mic. You know you had the cords back back when you and I yeah. played. Connected yeah, to you, man. Connect, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, Alex yeah. would have ran out there and wrapped that cord around Ed and Rod's neck. Man, <laughs> hell no, walking off the ball. Yeah, he got. Yeah, you got to be you got to be locked in. You got to yeah. be locked in right there, especially if if you're gonna walk off, at least be engaged with the DB and knowing to see if you if if your running back got the first down. If that ball pop out, you want to be you want to be right there to be able to it's jump a, on that it's thing. It's hard but Ocho and it's a bad look because you complaining about the ball, you dropped the touchdown on the drive before. Mm -hmm. Right. And then right. you walk off the Okay, walking off the ball is bad enough. But the ball pop out and you don't even chase, Ocho. Yeah, he he ain't see it though. You got to look at if you look at his if you look at his body language, look at his eyes, he ain't even look down. He even looked down to see if it he had turned he had turned walking back to the damn huddle already because he thought he thought uh, the running back was down. Man. Yeah, that, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. He he was he was a little disengaged right there. He was a little disengaged. You, you can't, Ocho, because if you think about it, offensively you're struggling. Yeah, you you're struggling. Yeah, and you want to you want to show that like, okay, the new coordinator, hey, we need to get the ball to Deontay. Mm. He busting his butt. Yeah. You see, he busting his butt. I mean, how do yeah. how do I mean? I already know Mike Tomlin had a conversation with him. You already know Mike T. Call. 
Yeah, of course. Oh. You know, Mike. Mike don't play that now. You know, Mike. Mike says something. Mike gonna say because th this is the story, not them winning. Yeah, this yes. is the story now, and that's gonna be, yes. be that's gonna be all yeah. the headlines. You know that that's gonna that's gonna steal the joy from the win. And um, offensively, listen, it was Matt Cannon the problem? You think? <coughs> Excuse me. Or did they just happen to have a good game against a Bengals team that doesn't have Joe Burrow? Well, Joe Burrow wasn't playing defense. He doesn't play defense. But we'll find out. It's one game. Maybe this was an anomaly. Right. Let's see moving mm -hmm. forward. Can they generate other 400-yard games? Can they generate right. other wins? Now, they've won with Matt Canada, but it – Mm -hmm. I mean, they were outgained in all of the all of the games in which they won. Right. And you know you're not mm -hmm. gonna you're not gonna go very far if you were to make the playoffs, giving up mm -hmm. uh uh teams outgaining you by hundred yards, gaining outgaining you by two hundred yards. But give them credit, they went on the road against a division opponent and they found a way to win a ball game. Um and but yeah. you, know, you have to give them credit for that. The Chiefs offense seems to have gotten back on track, steamrolling the Raiders. Kansas City got off to a wobbly start, generating 13 yards on their first two drives, starting in a 14-0 hole. Then my homeboy stepped on the gas. The next three drives by Kansas City, 71 yards, touchdown. 79 yards, mm -hmm. touchdown. 75 yards, touchdown. Mahomes finished today 27-34, 298, two touchdowns, zero turnovers. No turnovers. And I think that's why they overcome that deficit. That's why they over um, overcome that deficit. That that fourteen. You know what? We gonna give y'all fourteen points. <laughs> we spot you. We gonna give you fourteen, and Mahomes gonna show you how good he really yeah. is. And we, I mean, media outlets. You know the pundits. They always talk about. Well, he doesn't have a true number one. If Travis Kelsey's not playing well, he has nobody to throw to. Well, shoot. Rush you. Isaiah Pacheco step. R R Rashid, Rashid Rice. Is it Rice? Mm -hmm. I don't. Yeah, Rashid Rice stepped up. Pacheco, man, listen. Somebody must piss him off or something. I ain't never seen nobody run the Real ball angry. that angry since Marion Barber. It, it, Remember Marion Barber? Rest his soul. It's like yeah. they rent, they have the exact same running style, like somebody pissed mm -hmm. him off. Why are you running angry? Every mm -hmm. every step is like it is intent and will to hurt, but ain't nobody in front of you. Yeah. Man, the, the Chiefs, uh, not even the Chiefs. Mahomes, man. Mahomes is special. <laughs> man. Mahomes, Mahomes is special. You see that man. pass he threw to Kelsey? On that silver, on yeah. that sale route. Dog, the placement. The placement. Unbelievable. The arm angles, man. The 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 movement in the pocket, the poise, just everything yeah. about him is immaculate. Yeah. And down 14, most of the time you start pressing. Yeah. You start yeah. pressing. You make mistakes. No mistakes were made. Nope. No, no mistakes were made. And they came back, they win the game. But again, they were playing the yeah. Raiders. Yeah, I, I, they, they were they were they were playing the Raiders. Can you play a, a good team like the Cowboys no, 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 or the, no, no, or the no. Eagles the team, and, no. and, and and be down by no. fourteen and still think mm -mm, you're just gonna overcome mm -mm. it? It's a different no. ball game. And I, I think the thing is, is that also is that you saw he got Kelsey involved. Kelsey mm -hmm. opens it up, so now you can scheme yeah. the other guys. You can run Rashid Rice on a shallow cross, and he hit his head on the mm -hmm. goalpost. You can do other things, mm -hmm. but you got to get eight seven in, involved. You yeah. got to get him involved because he makes it easier. So now everybody eyes goes towards him. And now these other guys right. all of a sudden are splintering and you get them on shallow crosses. You get them on, on smoke screens and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. But uh, Kansas city seemed to be on the right track. Like you said, I'm not putting a whole lot of stock in this because that was the Raiders. Um, but like you tell me, that's the NFL team. That's the top one. You're right. You right, you right, you right, you right, you right by that. You right by that. But again, we talk about two times Super Bowl champ Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City yeah. Chiefs with Andy Reid calling them goddamn plays. Oh yeah, they gonna be oh, all big right. Red, big red, big red. The thing is, but you can't turn the ball over because if you get off to yeah. slow starts like that, Ocho, you can't turn the ball over because now all of right. a sudden you're already down fourteen, and now you let people mm -hmm. get steal your steal your possessions. So right. that was a that I, I think that was one of the things that I saw that they did a great job of protecting the football. Mac Jones had another rough day, Ocho, throwing two more interceptions in a 10-7 loss to Giants before being benched for Bailey Zappi at the half. Now Zappi, it wasn't like Bailey Zappi to play great either. He didn't. But you know what, Ocho? It's time for it, it's time for the Patriots and Mac Jones to part ways. I mean, how many it ain't even the go ahead. Hey, what they doing, huh? Like, come on, what we doing? Come on, Bill. What are we doing, Bill O'Brien? What what are, what are we doing? Listen, this is a great analogy. This is all that makes sense to me. 
If you don't like something, just bench him and be done with it. They've have benched, they have benched Mac Jones four times yes. this year. Do you understand what that has done to his psyche? Do you understand what that has done to his confidence? He has none at this point. That's like, fellas or ladies in the chat, that's like going back to your yeah. ex four different yeah. times and expecting the results to be different as opposed to how they were before. Yeah, you bring up me four times, it's makes, over. That make, that ma it makes no yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. It makes no sense. You know you don't like him. You have a problem. You have issues with the turnovers. Every time you bench him, every single time, like yeah. what, what are we And not doing? only you bench him, just stick with just stick with Mister Zappi. Ocho, not only do you break up with me, I see you dating other guys in the meantime because they brought Bailey Zappi in four <laughs> times, uh, all four times. So you break up with me, I see you. That don't work out with you and him. Now you come back to me, right? And guess what? I'm yeah. foolish enough to take you back. Take you every 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 time, <laughs> every time. Listen, that that hat that has to it. Just thinking about it to me, I'm not even playing the game. And then I understand what comes with the quarterback position. You're already frustrated. You're not winning. Then they bench you. Then Monday comes, you got practice on Wednesday. They say, well, okay, now you're the starter yeah. again. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, it's a they got they got they got they got to find a quarterback. I don't I don't know who it's going to be, but they need to find somebody to pick up what Tom left no, off. And even though those are those are big shoes to fill, I, I know I know what you're going to say. <laughs> they are big shoes to fill, but. They got to find it. They got to find it because things aren't going to be right until they find yeah, a quarterback. But, you, but Ocho, it's a rarity that you lose Joe Montana and there's Steve Young. You lose a mm. Brett Favre and there's an Aaron Rodgers. Normally, mm. when you lose a historically great quarterback, each year, mm -hmm. look how long the Steelers went when they lost Terry Bradshaw. Right. It was it oh, was it right. was almost okay. twenty years before they fall. They get they get Big Ben. And you know, hey, right. and Buffalo with think about it, Buffalo had gone twenty plus years before they get Josh Allen Jim Kelly, yeah, from Jim Kelly yeah. to Josh Allen. So you don't yeah, normally right. normally. So as great as Tom is, unless you have somebody, mm -hmm. and it's not like it is, you, you can't have a Steve Young on your roster now. You can't, right? Because you know, he first of all, he's going to want to play, yeah, and he's not going to be content with not playing. Right. And plus, when Steve was there, there was no free agency. So where was he going to go? Oh, he had no he had choice, no choice but, but to be there. To be there. Okay. Now there's free okay. agency. Plus, I need to look at the guy because I need to know before I invest three hundred million. Because you know we're right around the corner for three hundred million dollar contracts. Because we, you know, we mm -hmm. we two fifty right now, two sixty. The next contract, right. the next contract within a year or two, is going to be three hundred million. Wait, that's the the, th the funny thing about it. Since you talk about the next contract, obviously it would be a quarterback. Yeah. Everybody's been paid already. What, so who up? would be up next? Two is up. Okay, but is it? I, I, that's a good one. A two is playing extremely mm -hmm. well. But would two overlap? Joe and Lamar and Patrick. Hey, Mahomes? I'm after. With, with, I'm after. That's what y'all do. Y'all told the reason why this guy got more than that guy because he signed a year after. So I need. Hey, I need right. my money. I'm about to have a 2,000 yard receiver. I'm about to throw for 4,800, almost 5,000 yards. I'm going to be way high on the well, touchdown list. Yeah, I need to get that. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to ask you one yeah. more question. So when Dak is up, so oh, does Dak also get that 300? Yeah, hey, Dak. So it just continue, it continues to overlap because that's how they, because well, I, that's what see that's what they do. Everybody keeps trying to right. up it because I want to keep climbing. I got to keep pushing these salaries high. But normally it's supposed to be just the top. The the top 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 guys but being able it, to reset yeah, the market be, like that. It used to though. be like that, Ocho. It used to be, but now, right? Hey, I just happen to be. It's see, it's timing. Yeah, timing. It's not whether or not you're good. It's whether or not you're free. Mm. It's whether you're free, and so I right, got to right, make a right. decision, Ocho. So that's why guys, teams, they ain't got no patience. I can't have patience. I, you mean to tell me I'm supposed to let a guy and just go okay? I'm gonna have patience with, and I'm gonna give him 300 million after his third year. But I'm not sure, certain. Right. But I'm just gonna have patience. No, you can't do that, Ocho. You can't. Right, you can't. right, right. The money, the the, 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 the money is too great now. So, got teams are not right. gonna have the patience like they did because that I got to know by the third year, I got to know whether or not the kid can play, Ocho. Right. Because I'm about to have yeah. to rest 300 yeah. million in it. Yeah, that's why they always say your third year is your break or make year, regardless of what position Especially you play. Especially if you want like. By your third year, if you're a first-round pick, 
you should have been made in oh, Pro yeah. Bowl by now. By your third year, you should yeah. be a Pro Bowl. You yeah. should be a borderline yeah. All Pro player. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? Now in today's market, with the contracts, by that third year, everybody mm -hmm. wants that new deal, Ocho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if if you if you're playing really well, they will tear it up. No, ain't, got no, ain't got no problem getting you that paper. No problems but at all. But it's gonna be hard for me to give you paper when. You ain't got no all pros. You ain't got no Pro Bowls mm -hmm. on your resume. Mm -hmm. It's just hard. I, 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 how? Right. You're right. We, Ocho, we got over 23,000 in the live chat. 23,000? 23, 23, how y'all doing? Yeah. I, I, my, my, baby, my baby in there? Yeah, I'm sure real in there. No. Broncos have, hey. The Broncos have won five in a row, knocking off the Browns. First time in NFL history we've had a game which ended 29-12. Uh, I think Sean Payton has realized at this point, Russ career less is more. So you know, Russ loved to cook, but Sean Payton just let him handle the appetizers right now. Ocho, he said, "We'll, yeah, we will." Yeah, that, <laughs> because in the four of the last five games, they've topped 125, 120 yards rushing in four of the five games mm -hmm. of the win streak. Russ hasn't mm -hmm. posted a single game or three hundred yards passing game during that span. He's only averaging about one hundred and seventy yards passing per game. But yeah, but I saw that. but he hasn't thrown an interception. I think he had a fumble today, right? Didn't he fumble today? I think he fumbled once today. Yeah. Listen, the Broncos, them boy, them boy, them boys don't won five straight. Like like Russell Wilson say, Bronco Nation, let's ride. Yeah. Are you ready? Are we you Bronco ready, country. Ready to get Russell his flowers? Uh, you ready to get Russell his flowers? Yeah, he's now? playing well. Is, 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 has it been good? Is it? Yeah, he's playing, he's playing well. well. He's playing well. Hey, listen, he's not he's not throwing throwing up historic numbers. You know, we were all fussing about obviously the chemistry between him and Sean Payton. Yeah. It wasn't what it should be. And man, forget all right. that. You know, Jerry Judy and Cortland Sutton, man, yeah. they on a five game. Yeah, I would like to see him get Judy and involved you, more though, man. I don't know what it is. What is what is what's going on, Ocho? You're a wide receiver. What's going on with Judy? Why yeah. is there is a connection? I I just right right now, obviously, if you look if you look at the numbers, if you look at the numbers, listen, Russell only threw the ball twenty two times mm -hmm. today. You no, know, 13 for 22 for 125 yards. So unless you have plays specifically scripted for him, I think Sean Payton has Russell William, Wilson Russell Wilson playing mistake-free yes. football where he's not really wanting to let it go or let it all hang out for, for that matter. Keep us in contention. Keep us close in the game so we can win these games, which is why I think they have won the last yeah, five. five in a row. I think when he get a little bit more com when he get a little bit more comfortable, and gets back to his old self, I think that's when we'll start throwing, we'll start throwing all over the place, all willy-nilly, like I call it. And we'll see the 300, 400 yard, well, not 400, 400 is a little bit much, but 400 yard gain from, from Wilson again. No, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's necessarily because when you got Javante Williams, you got some IJP Ryan, and they're running the ball, they're power backs. So mm -hmm. hey, let's 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 see if we can keep it third and short. Yeah, sometimes I think I wish they could push the ball down the field because everybody's crowding the line. I mean, a lot of times Javante, mm -hmm. Javante is getting the ball. He's getting hit in the backfield. I'm like, well, damn. But but this seems to be the recipe in order to make the dish that's palatable right. for the Broncos to win football games. So I'm mm -hmm. all for that. As long as they win the game, all that other stuff I can yeah. do without. Alex Smith calls out Tom Brady for NFL criticism, saying Brady played in the biggest cupcake, biggest cupcake division. <laughs> He said the biggest complaint with Brady comments was Brady played in the most uncompetitive division. You come out of training camp, the biggest cupcake division, you got to take it to the playoffs right away. Like, talk about mediocre. I completely disagree with this. But here's the thing, Ocho. Two things can be true. Tom Brady mm -hmm. played in the most uncompetitive division, the AFC East, in the NFL. Yeah, they, they were bad. They were, they, they were bad. They were bad then. When he got to the playoffs, Tom Brady mm -hmm. played in three years what the playoff game. His record is, th well, consider notwithstanding. So let's see, how many games did he win in Tampa? He lost the first year. Da, 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 da. So he won about four games. So he won about 30 playoff games in New England. Mm -hmm. Now, he's beaten the best in the AFC South, the AFC North, mm -hmm. and the AFC West. And guess what? Yeah. When he goes to the Super Bowl, he's beating the best they got to offer. So, yeah. Alex Smith, you're absolutely right. That was the most right. uncompetitive division. But 
They damn sure didn't hinder him when it came playoff time because they were kicking ass mm-hmm. and taking names for twenty for yeah. twenty years. Yeah, most most definitely, most definitely. I think what Tom was talking about more so to me, obviously, he was talking about the product, the product on the yeah. field, you know. And one of the issues again with what Tom was saying is the NFL, the competition committee. They have handicapped the game so much where you can't even play the type of football that Tom is used to seeing. You you can't even play that type of football anymore. I just saw uh, what running back was that? No, Re- Amon St. Brown. Amon St. Brown, he's fine. Forty three thousand. Three thousand dollars. I watched it. I watched the I play. I still don't know what he's talking about. Five times. I still don't know. I unk, I watched it five times trying to figure out what in the world did he do right. wrong. Like I think there's some type of conspiracy and somebody's pocketing this pocketing <laughs> some money because the fines that they're handing out right now are ridiculous. Forty three thousand for that, Ocho. But come on, forty three thousand. Come on, and you know what I'm not hearing? Are they winning these appeals? Is Merton Haynes still on? Nah, is, is I Merton think Haines it's uh, one? If I had to, I think it's James Thrash and uh 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 uh, uh, uh Brooks Brooksy Derek Brooks. Which Brooks? D Brooks for yeah. real. I, I think they handled the appeal. Oh, come on, man. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Something is going now the big on. Stuff, Something now the big stuff, now the big on. stuff goes to a uh, John Runyon. I think he, I think. Wait, John Runyon, John yeah, Runyon? Yeah, yeah, used to be the Eagles, the Eagles right tackle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. So I think yeah, the big stuff, I think the big 000? stuff, I think the stuff like uh, 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 Kareem Jackson, I think stuff yeah. like that, I think it, it goes to him. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know you saw this. People are upset that Blue Ivy received criticism about her dance moves early this year, but Blue Ivy used it as motivation. Blue Ivy made her mm-hmm. first appearance on stage with her mother in May when Beyonce performed in Paris. The 11 year old became concert staple regularly, showing up to dance with her mother's performance, My Power. One relevation, one relevation, <laughs> revelation, excuse me. Uh, from the premiere Renaissance, a film by Beyonce, was how Blue Ivy read some social media comments mocking her dance move. Beyonce said she was was dismayed when an eleven year old read the post criticizing her lackluster moves. But instead of quitting, she decided to put the work in, train even harder for future stops. Mm. People are upset about trolls making fun of eleven year old, but the part of the blessing and a curse of being a child of fame. People paid thousands, thousands, Ocho. To see that, so mm-hmm. if you let your ch- if you open your child up to that, up to that, you open you your child to, up to criticism. Yeah, and you know, you know, it's, you know, what's funny is uh, as as a parent myself of eighty five kids, I like it. I like it. I like my kids to be open to criticism at an early age. I want you to understand when you get in that real world and your daddy's not there or your mama's not there. This is how life is going to sure. be. Everybody ain't going to like sure. you. Everybody ain't going to like you, no matter how nice you try to be, whatever it might be. In the case for Blue Ivy, the fact that she said, oh, I'm not worried about what y'all talking about. I'm going to go do what I've seen my mom. I do. love it. I'm going to go work. work on this and work and work until I get it right. And what did she do? She, she got, got it better. right. And after which she was a staple, every time Beyonce went out there and performed, Blue Ivy was out there hitting that routine, and I know the routine by heart. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You think I know? I, I know the routine. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, do, yeah. I ain't gonna do the rest of it. I just hit my knuckle on the mm-hmm. mic, man. That's what you get. God, yeah, but but I, I don't know. I, I don't understand because you have to understand, Ocho. It's just like anything when people play large sums of money. People like, okay, mm-hmm. that's your child. She better be able to do yeah. all the moves you put up in there. <laughs> That's just the way it is. I mean, I, no, I mean, I'm, I'm being for yeah. real. I mean, you, you, yeah. I know how much. Look, I hadn't been. I went to the uh, the old, the old concert, and I think I, right. I and I ended up paying like, like eight thousand dollars for two seats. Yeah, yes, damn. and I'm sure there were more this time around. And right. so, when people pay that enormous sum of money, mm-hmm. you and you put see if you put your kids in that situation, you subject mm-hmm. them. To the same criticism mm-hmm. that you would receive, because right, they're looking right. at it like, okay, she in here, oh, she must be could do it. She must be could. no. This ain't yeah. no YMCA now. These ain't hey Ocho. Mm-hmm. These mm-hmm. ain't no seven, no five and six year olds that you know they be all right. being. Oh, that's my little angel. Isn't that cute? Oh hell mm-hmm. no. Yeah, 
Or you, but you, you ain't gonna get you. You're not gonna get that type of treatment from the real world no. anyway. You know, if you if you ain't on point, oh, you know they ain't gonna spare you no grace right. now. No, not not us, our people. Right. Oh no, they ain't gonna spare you no grace. But again, the fact that she's able to do what she did at such a young age, obviously, you know who her parents yes. are. Her, her parents are too perfectionists. So they're in order to get to perfection, you know what it took to get there. So the fact that she has that already at eleven years old. Oh man, you you ain't looking at you looking at greatness oh, now. That's well, that's a call because though. you got Jay Z as your dad. You have Beyonce uh -huh. as your mom. The level mm -hmm. of expectation has greatly Station. increased just because of mm -hmm. who your parents are. Well, your oh, mother yeah. can dance. Well, you ought to be able to do it mm -hmm. like she do. That's yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Ocho, it's just like when parents of a uh, 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 or professional, you know, his dad played this and his mom did that. They automatically expect the child to be great at it. Right. That's just right. what it is. But you got to work. You, you got to work. work. You got to work because there's no substitute for it. You think Jay-Z, Jay obviously, he worked yes. at it. Beyonce didn't come out the womb knowing how to do what she does. She worked on her craft continuously, continuously. And now what you what you see now is greatness. One of the greatest of all time. Yes, for sure. So I understand both sides. I understand but she's just a child. But when you, she, I mean, people don't not look and most people aren't going to have in a situation like that. Not gonna have their child up there dancing, yeah. If yeah. the child's not on point, because you are subject right. the child to criticism that mm -hmm. would be bestowed mm -hmm. an adult because you put them right. in an adult role. Right, right. That's my take. I, I'm I like sure it. people are gonna disagree. Like Check it. this out, Ocho. King Harris, Ti's son, uh, fights. Oh yeah, fights with his parents on IG Live. Yeah, a live. <clears throat> excuse me. A live stream at the Falcons game this afternoon went sideways. After King started arguing with his parents, at one point T.I. on a smoke. At one point T.I. could be heard yelling, "You're an embarrassment to your family. You're an embarrassment." Later, King posted, "I stand on business. I don't give a f who you are." Yeah, yeah, yeah. King, 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 man, it's up and stuck. He what he whatever he's standing on business. You you know what it is. Oh, King like oh, that. Joe. I mean that's what that's what the streets told me. They told me King don't, don't King don't even play. He ain't the one. All that all I get that fine and good. But the Bible say, honor thy mother and thy father, and your days and father. will be long. Be long. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Was King raised by his mother and father? Or was King raised by his grandmother? I, look, because I'm kind of I'm I'm kind of confused. I'm kind of confused. He said, he said, and I I, rem I read this where he said he was mm -hmm. raised by his grandmother, and when they shot the show, he would come over there for mm -hmm. the show. Okay, 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 okay. Well, maybe, maybe they had some type of special but here's arrangement. The thing. You know, everybody, everybody's living arrangements Ocho, is different. I was raised by my grandmother and grandfather. My 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 grandma raised me. I ain't too. gonna be disrespectful to my parents. Oh no, not my. They mom. gave you well, life. You know Hurricane. You, well, you know Hurricane Paula. No man, be disrespectful, Come on, bro. I mean, right. they they clearly they loved you. You've done things, and they bailed you out. Mm -hmm. They've been there, mm -hmm. and I understand yeah. that's what a parent's supposed to do. But bro, mm -hmm. this disrespect, yeah. I ain't about that. I mean, but 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 listen. I, mean, I I I know I know you're not about it. Obviously, Unc, you 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 were raised in a different time. You know, your grandma ain't played that, your mom ain't played that. Uh I know I know Tip very well. I know Tiny very well. Obviously, they don't play that play that either. But I think King, we don't know what he's going through. We don't know what he's going through. He, you know, it might be more than beneath the surface that we don't know. Standing on business. You know, there might be some things circulating as a as a as a child, as a teenager. Wait, is he a teenager yet? No, he, he is yeah, a teenager, yeah, right? For sure. Yeah, yeah. A as a teenager, some other things going on because that that rage and that anger that was displayed while that camera was rolling, that's more than just an argument. That's more than just me being upset. It's more to it than that. And I, I can I can tell. So I I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it. But as a child there's something else going on where Tip got to sit him that sit him down and talk to him, man, father to son, because it's deeper than whatever he was angry about. Sometimes <clears throat> there have been times that I knew that my grandmother was wrong. I just eat it. But grandma ain't never. I just wrong, eat it. Man. I just eat it. You just eat right. it. It's okay. Yeah. Because right. I know in the long run what she's trying to do. And yes, I sir. never felt that my grandmother punished me unnecessarily. 
Mm. And I always kept that in the back of my mind. It was always right. a long game that she was trying to play. Shannon, I, I, when I like you go that. out in the real world, I want you to be a, like I said, because I, and I tell people this all the time, the proudest she was, was what we became outside of football, the men, the people mm. that we were, the way we conducted ourselves. And at the right. end of the day, I am a representative. I am a representation of Barney and Mary Porter. I'm also a representation mm. of my mom, Mary Alice Dixon. So I always remember that. I, that always stuck with me. And my dad also. You know, I named my son after my dad because mm. I only saw my dad once in my life to know who he was. Mm. And so I remember we were having a um, we was at my grandmother's house. This was like early, like 1981, early. And he was going to come home. Now, mind you, my grand, my, my dad had cancer. And so it, he had it written remission, but it came back, Ocho. But this time he had oral mm -hmm. cancer. So he had to have both of his jaw bones removed. So mm -hmm. he was going to come home. My grandma, her name was Minnie, but they called her, they called her Charlie. He called her Charlie. We called her Grandma mm -hmm. Charlie. And he said, Charlie, and, and she was telling him, say, uh, uh, Pete, that's what they called him, Pete. His name is Winton. They called him Pete. She said, Pete, come on home. Them, boy, them kids want to see you. He didn't want to come home because he didn't want us to see him like that. Remember, he had had mm -hmm. both of his jaw bones removed. And the last time we saw him, I was probably probably in kindergarten, first grade. So, hey, I'm right, about right. to be 13. So it's been a long time. And he says, I don't want the kids to see me like this. So she said, she say, Pete, them kids going to love you. They just want to see their dad. He said, you know what, right. Charlie? I'm going to come home. I'm going to see him. And he died before it happened. Mm. So I always remember that. And from that point on, there was no more disagreeing with my mom, no more arguing with me right. because life was too short. Right. Yeah. It wasn't. So for what? Because I, I, I really sincerely always believed that my grandmother, my grandfather, my mother, they always had my best interest in mind, interest. even though I couldn't yeah. see it at the time. And when you're young, you right. don't because you want what you want. You want to do what you want to mm -hmm. do and do, you and you want to do it how you want to do it. So yeah. for me, yeah, that's and, right. and, that, that's and right. that's what the young generation, that's what, they, there's a mm -hmm. lot. Some of the time I see how these kids, and I, even when I'm in Target or Whole Foods or someplace, mm -hmm. and I see the way kids mm -hmm. talk, this, I'm like, really? Well, it's different now, now. Well, you can't, you can't discipline. Listen, one thing about it, you know the rules that set in place right now. They're called child services on you so quick, you lose your kids. You can't discipline like you. No, that, no, like, no, 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 used, no, no, no. Like they used to discipline no, us no, back no, then. No, back in the eighties, no. man. Shh. Well, you you won't you won't have a child no, no more. You can't even. That there, there, I saw something on Twitter today about kids that are misbehaving. They said that you need to teach your kids to listen because they're not born knowing how to. Because listening is a skill. Yeah. And I never I never heard it quite put like that before, and it made so much sense because we would they would tell us to do something. And we do the complete opposite. And what do they do to us to make sure or to, to make sure we don't do it again? Man, go get that switch. Yeah. Go get that switch off yeah. that tree real quick. Yeah. Or pick up the first thing they can find and hit you with it. And that is the way to get us to listen when they tell us to I do something. I think the biggest thing is, Ocho, is that people listen to respond instead of listen to understand. Mm -hmm. Damn. Ooh, that's a good My one. My grandfather. Wait, 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 wait. Let me write that down. Let me write that down. Let me write that down. Got to write that down. I need that one. I got to use that with my girl when we fighting. Ocho, I remember I was I was okay. little, and it used to break my heart when my grandfather would yell at me, and I would start crying. And and my grandmother would always say, "Barney, he just a little fella. Don't yell at him." Mm -hmm. He would say, "Mary, I ha I can only tell him something once, because living on a farm and being around a machinery and being around these animals, mm -hmm. I can't tell him a mm -hmm. second time." Because it might kill him okay. or he might get seriously injured. So I have mm. to make sure he understands the first time. Right. So that's kind of how I am with my kids. I would talk to him in such a way. Mm -hmm. And I understand. And they understand now. But they didn't understand then. Kind of like I didn't understand. But now as you got older, my kids know everything that I was saying to them was about the long game. Mm -hmm. And so that's how, and King doesn't understand because we don't think our parents know anything. 
Like, you don't know what I'm going through. It is different. Mm -hmm. Social media is a different animal than anything that, that right. you, I, our parents, our grandparents never experienced anything yeah. like social media. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't give you Crazy. an excuse to yeah. be disrespectful to disrespectful. your parents. Yeah. And But the, the yeah. thing is, Ocho, when we grew up, the community raised us. You doing something oh, bad, yeah. Miss Martha, Miss oh, yeah. Miss Margie, somebody. Hey, boy, hey, ain't you ain't you Mary boy? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Don't make me telling you down here misbehaving. Yes, ma'am. Man, not even that. Not even that. The people, I call it the village. Yes. The village knows if you do something wrong. The village is allowed to spank For you. For sure. And then when you get home and they tell your parents what you did. Then your parents spank you too, so you getting you getting double, double whammy. Double, man, boy. I remember one time in church. I, you know, I I never forget. One time in church, I'm in Sunday school, and I had a dollar, and I wanted to get some from the soda machine. I wanted to get some from the soda machine, and I asked a lady at the time in church. I said, can't remember her name, uh, sister, whatever it might have been. You know, do you have change for dollar? I had a dollar bill. Do you have change for a dollar? She said, no, I don't, I don't have change for a dollar, but if I can find 50 cents, I give you half of whatever it might have right. been, something like that. And I ended up, I ended up make taking a dollar and cutting it in half with a scissors, with scissors, <laughs> trying to be funny. Talk about some, he go half right here, something. I can't remember the story. I just remember getting my ass whooped mm -hmm. once in church for cutting that money in half. And then once, once my grandma came to church for service at 11 o'clock, mm -hmm. I got my ass whooped Oh, again. yeah, for sure. Then I had to get home, and then my granddaddy, my granddaddy done woke me out three times because I'm playing around like I don't know what. Man, I, oh, man, I got so many good stories, yeah, man. Yeah, but, that, but that's the thing, though, Ocho. I, like I said, I, I think the, they, but I would learn. I mean, I was, we, me and my brother, my, my, my grandfather uh, would always say, I remember one night this had to be 75, 76. Like I said, my 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 brother, my brother, and my grandfather slept in the bed, and me and my grandmother yeah. slept in the bed. And I remember him one night, he said this so vividly. He said, Mary, I'm gonna be, I'll probably be dead and grown, but them two boys gonna make something. He said they so mm. smart, they listen. He said they listen to every he say they he say they listen to everything. And he was talking about that little mm -hmm. one. He said he that, was, that was me. He said that little would know enough to be dangerous. Because I can repeat. Mm. He could say something, I can repeat it. Just like that. Because you know, mm -hmm. back then, Ocho, you know, nobody had no cell phone. So my grandfather, he right. said, hey, somebody, he like, okay, Barney, you know what my number is? He said, tell it to the boys. So they would tell me and my brother the number. So when we got home, now we might be gone for another hour or two. When we get home, mm -hmm. he would say, hey, hey, boys, what's a, a, a such and such number? You still remember? Like it was forgetting it wasn't an option. Right, 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 right. There was only right. one way to do things. That right. was his way. Yeah. And like I said, he and that's why I'm so Ocho. He didn't mistakes were not acceptable. He didn't mm -hmm. make excuses. Mm -hmm. And that's why you're like, man, you don't Ocho, I was the youngest cousin. We had it was five boys, me, Lanny, my brother Spanky, Eugene the Arnie. I'm the youngest by two years. Mm -hmm. So they throwing at waltzes. So my cousin Eugene hit the waltz nest. Rest his soul. He passed away about four or five years ago. He hit the waltz nest. They come down, light me up. I close. that will stung me in the back of my head. I got a pump out on the back of my head. Lit why you? Why you ain't run? I did run. So you know what I did? <laughs> I ran home and told Papa. I said, Papa, I was crying. I done closed though. A little tear coming out the eye. Ocho, you lip swole. <laughs> you got it. Got stinging in my. I said, Papa. Yeah. They they were they were throwing it in the waltzes and, and, and they came out and they stung me. He looked at me. He said, You should have run. I said, Papa, I did run. He said, You should have run fast. No <laughs> excuses. You can never right. bring that man an excuse home because he wasn't gonna accept it. Right. And from that point, anybody that's ever been mm -hmm. around me, oh y'all don't make no excuses. Either you did or you right. didn't. It's really that simple. Didn't. Yeah. No, no, no gray None. area. None. Yeah, man. Pa 
par- parenting parenting is completely different, especially in this, this this day and age. Obviously, with social media, things are different. Uh, the kids are our, our kids. You know, obviously, with me being a father of eighty five, our kids are exposed to a lot more, a lot faster than we were. Um, and you just you 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 got to maneuver different as a parent. You got to maneuver different you as do. a parent. So it, it's unfortunate. Um, obviously, again, back back to the topic at hand. Uh, on on King and um the disrespect of 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 Ti and, yeah, and, and Tiny, man. I think it's deeper. I think it's yeah. much deeper than what we saw. Obviously, the disrespect isn't isn't right. You you really can't do that. And obviously, Ti repeatedly saying you're embarrassing your family and embarrassing yourself. You know, I I understood what Ti was coming from, but also as a child, I can empathize, sympathize with with King, especially in this day and age, with with the jokes and, and people making fun of him online and, and some of the things that people have said to him, you know, after doing my homework, knowing that we were going to talk about this topic, that he can be a little frustrated with some of that stuff and it can get to you. And I think he was at wit's end and that that's what we got to stay off I social media. I, said. I think it's a little, yeah, I think it was a little deeper. That's if, it, why I said if, that. if, if, if social media make you, it'll break you. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 that it can. And you look at you, that, you, that you looking can. for people, you looking for, assurances and, and reassurances and guidance and val- validation val- validation and and, and, yeah. and and it's not gonna work i just i just hopefully he for me you know i just hope that they can one day sit down and have an on, open and honest conversation mm-hmm. and move in a positive mm-hmm. manner ocho i don't know if you saw yeah. this but i wanted to, there was two professors and they asked their college class they said we're gonna give you two mm-hmm. options we got you you're looking for a job right oh they said we got two options option a you make a hundred thousand, but all of your coworkers are going to make two hundred thousand. That's option A. You make a hundred thousand, all your coworkers make two hundred thousand. Option B, you make fifty thousand, your coworkers mm-hmm. make twenty five thousand. Fifty percent chose option B, and what they deduced: people don't want better for themselves; they act- actively want people to do worse than them. Let that sink in, Ocho. You will they yep. were willing to take fifty thousand dollars less as long as somebody was worse off than them. I could care less. I'm going option A. Give me me. I'm going option A. Come hella Give high me water. Me. I don't care what's going on. Cause one thing about it, Unc, I will say it and I will say it this time, this time and time again. People that are watching me, you will never be able to enjoy what's on your plate as long as you looking and trying to take off somebody else. Yes. Yes. Every time. Yes. Just focus on your plate. Focus on your plate. Focus on the food you got going on, whatever money you got coming in. Finding ways to make more money. Just oh, you always got to lock on your own. And one of the things I always said is when people always know how much other people making, they can't be happy. That means you ain't make you, you yeah, you ain't making enough. You ain't yeah. making enough. It ain't gotta be nothing big. Even if even even if it's coming in small increments, just focus on your own plate, yeah. man. He said, people, he said, what we found out that people actually care more about others than they do themselves. And you know what irks yeah. me when people I hear people say they don't deserve. Who are you to say God made a mistake in blessing me? I didn't Somebody get what else. I don't yeah. get what I deserve. I got what I earned. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got what you earned. Yeah. What does deserve have to do anything with my hard work? And, yeah. and, and people are just like, what's for you? With whatever God has intended for you, I don't care it, how I don't care you. how many stumbling blocks, how many roadblocks, how many obstructions someone tried to place, it ain't gonna do nothing. God going to make sure you arrive that. at that destination and get all of your blessings. Every time. Every time. I don't, I don't concern I don't concern myself because the way I look at Ocho, me and this business, when I saw Charles Barkley could be himself, mm-hmm. could talk with the mm-hmm. dialect that he had, mm-hmm. was unapologetically not afraid to make fun of himself, I said, I could do that. Mm-hmm. I said, I got just a good a sense of humor. I can tell stories. I said, I can do that. Mm-hmm. I'm not, man, why Charles Barkley get all that? I see Michael Strahan on Good Morning America. I see Stephen A mm-hmm. doing what he, I said, I can do that. I say, Stephen A went mm-hmm. to an HBCU, like me. Michael Strahan went to an HBCU, like me. I said, I can do that. I just want somebody to give me yeah. an opportunity. To present. Be prepared when the opportunity presents itself. When it presents itself, yeah. So yeah. I'm, I don't get jealous of somebody. Man, such a son making 100 million. Okay. He did it. Well, that, if he made it, that mm-hmm. means somebody else can make it. 
I can make it too. I, I see people that are making more than me or I see yes. people that are doing well. I see that as motivation. That's how I look that at is it. That is inspired. That is inspiring. I'm I'm from Miami. I'm from Liberty City. You know what's motivating to me? It's very motivating for me, even though we, we're in com two completely different lanes and then we live two completely different lifestyles. To see Rick Ross, man. Yes! To know where Rick Ross came oh. from back when we were back when we were shorties, mm -hmm. when he was at Carroll City, to see what he to see what he's mm -hmm. done with life in business, entrepreneurship, though that shit is inspiring, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. That shit is yeah. inspiring. Unk, I unk, I ain't really never even said this before. I'm just saying I look at that and it just make me want to do more, not do more to do do the things that he does, yeah. because I will never ever reach that level. Don't say you know? that. I will never reach no, that level. No, only positive. But, Why not? I mean. He did it. I mean, wait. So if listen, he did it, that you know, means you could do I, it. I, I'm just saying, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't maneuver that way. I'm not a private jet when I haven't. He you doesn't know, have two, three hundred. He don't, have, he don't, he don't have to do that. That's what he wants to do. I know. Well, why can't you? Why I can't know. you accumulate that and say, you know what? I'm still gonna fly what I fly. Right. I, I, I I'm, I'm. That's where the motivation, and inspiration part come from. You know, I just. Oh, that shit is that shit is beautiful to see, man. Because all that sometimes, sometimes I can wake up in the morning, bro, and I just I just go to the page and just look at it. Yeah, like that's just that's that's raw, and it just made me want to get up and just get up and just do something. Yeah, like I need I need I need more jobs. Well, that's the, the, my greatest motivation was my role model who lived in the house with me. My brother mm -hmm. went to the University of South Carolina. When he went to the NFL, he like I said he yeah. ate the same food I ate. I said he ate possum mm. and raccoon and turtle. Mm. I said he went to the NFL. Yeah. I can go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on back. Come on back to me what? now. Ate turtle? Yeah. Alligator turtle, snapping turtle. Yeah. Oh, Joe. And so when I saw him do that, every every mm. car my brother got, I got the same car. Mm. Same color. Yeah. The only difference was when yeah. he got a Ferrari, he got a red one, I got a black one. Mm. He got a white Benz, I got a white Benz. Yeah, every car. It, it, we had the exact same car. He had an S five hundred. I got an S five hundred. He had an SL. I yeah. got an SL. He got a Ferrari. I got a Ferrari. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my that was that was my motivation. I was like, oh, he could do dope. he could that's do that. Live. Oh yeah. And when, when I yeah. see Ross and I see these other Snoop Dogg's mm -hmm. another one. I know Snoop. Oh my good. I can pick Boy. up the phone and call Snoop. I see Snoop. Yeah. He went from gangs gang banging and this and that. Mm -hmm. He's one of the. He has one of the highest Q ratings of anybody. Listen, the ultimate rebrand. Yeah, ultimate. And, and this, this is good. This is good also for the people. The people in the chat. The people that are watching. You always use. It doesn't even have to be celebrities. No, 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 no. Celebrity. It could be. It, it can be. It can be. Maybe it's it can a doctor. Maybe it's a lawyer. Level people that. Yeah, just just little stuff, man. Always using other people as motivation and not hating on no. them. No, not not hating. Everybody always hating. Everybody always pocket watching. Or why yeah, you do yeah, this, why you yeah. Got that that should motivate you to want to do whatever it is in your respective craft. It just, I, I don't know, man. I, I, just I, I use I, I use little stuff like that just to keep me yeah. going, just to keep me going. Man. Look, just look, take little bits and pieces from from other people, man. That shit is inspiring. Ocho, I look at it like this. I don't need a lot of love. I just need love from yeah. the people that I love. Mm. I don't need the world to love me. <laughs> I remember my my grand my grandma used to say, "Boy, you don't need anybody to pat you on the back. You got two good damn hands. Pat yourself on the back." Mm. Resonated. I think I get a, did a good job. That's good enough for me. Mm -hmm. Everybody's not going to be happy with the way I talk, the way I dress, what yeah. I say. Yeah. Hey, I criticize this. Somebody's going to be upset. I don't. I talk about mm -hmm. this person. Well, I didn't talk about that person long enough. Well, you said this about Josh Allen, but you didn't say this about Lamar Jackson. You said this about Dak mm -hmm. Prescott. You didn't say this about Patrick Mahomes. Bro, you can't please everybody, nor should you attempt to. Mm -hmm. yeah. The hardest job in the I world like is to try to please 8 billion people. Well, you'll never be See? happy. You'll never, you'll never ever exactly. be happy. And so, Never yeah, ever. when I when I see guys, I see a Ross and I see a Snoop Dogg or I see people in my profession, Stephen A, and I see how hard he worked mm -hmm. and I see Stray and I yeah. see how hard he worked and I see Charles Barkley mm -hmm. and I see Shaq. Man, I'm like, man, I can do that. I see Charles Barkley from mm -hmm. Alabama. I'm from rural South mm -hmm. Georgia. 
Shaq grew up in San Antonio. He was a a a a a a, a, a military kid. Moved a lot of different mm-hmm. places. But what it get, mm-hmm. when he talk about what he say, Sarge. He talks about his his. He talks about his father, Sarge. Discipline, mm-hmm. structure. Yeah. You see. Yeah. 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 Hey, you know. You know. It's funny. I, I like that you just said that. That the two of the most important things that I didn't have growing up. Two of the most important things I didn't have growing up that grandma always instilled in me. My grandfather always tried to instill in me, but I constantly my structure and discipline. I didn't have it in life. I had it on the mm-hmm. field. I had it in. I had it in the area where it didn't matter. Mm-hmm. It took. It took the man. It took the man. Okay, you're not listening. Okay, okay. Obviously, he's not seeing the motherfucking signs. Oh, you still doing that, huh? Okay, you know what? Let me sit you. Let me sit your black ass down real quick. <laughs> let me sit you. Let me sit you down real quick. Let me take some of this stuff from you, so you can you can understand. You ain't moving right. Nah, back on track. The structure and the discipline is in place. The foundation that I need is in place. You know, hey, without a foundation, shit, what you gonna grow? What you gonna grow if your foundation no, 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 you ain't can't. solid? Anything. There's yeah. nothing that can stand if the foundation isn't solid. And even if you At build all. a solid foundation on leaky ground, on shaky ground, it mm. still will succumb. Oh, yeah. At some point. Every yeah. time. Every time. And if you ain't got no structure and discipline, you bound to fall at some yeah. point. Without, first of all, without discipline, you're going to probably quit and you're not going to be focused. <laughs> because yeah. like people like, what's discipline? I said it requires you to do your best when no one's watching. Mm-hmm. Oh, how about this? How about all them New Year's resolutions? Everybody in the chat, all them New Year's resolutions you had in January? Is you still how doing you, them now? How many, how many you stuck with? Don't lie either. It's hard, it, it's hard for anybody to ascend to a certain level. Mm-hmm. Forget, I'm not just talking mm-hmm. about, I'm not talking about uh, 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 sports. I'm not talking about celebrity fame. I'm talking mm-hmm. about it's hard to ascend to any level of success without discipline. Mm-hmm. It's hard, Ocho. Without yeah. structure. Very. Mm-hmm. This, this, Very. this, this, and this. Uh even if you're talented, even if you're extremely talented, you got to have got to, and structure. Got to. Uh, what is it? Aswa? Aswa? Sadi donated $50. Uh, Ocho. Who are you, who hey. are the top four teams that will make college football finals? And do you see Caleb Williams being the number one draft pick? Well, no matter what happens on Saturday. Uh, Alabama, not Alabama, Georgia will be in the college football playoffs. Mm-hmm. No matter what happens, they can lose a hundred and nothing. Michigan. They're going. I believe Michigan is going to beat uh, mm-hmm. Iowa, so they'll be there. There are two. Uh, the three right. seed will Florida State beat Louisville? That's going to be interesting because I believe if Louisville were to beat Florida State, I don't believe Florida State's going to go with one loss because they lost their quarterback Jordan Travis. Mm-hmm. Now it comes down, okay, Oregon and Washington, right? Yeah. They play each Washington. other. I would I would have put Washington. I, yeah, I would have put Washington at three. Because I think Ohio State's at five, right? Or six. Washington beat Oregon. So who do they play for the Pac 10, the Pac 12 fight title? Okay. So the question is, Ocho. I top four. <laughs> excuse me. If Oregon beats Washington, Washington beat them early. Mm-hmm. I think you have to take Oregon, but then Washington says, well, we beat them. So we got one loss. I think the unknown, let's say, let's just say for the sake of argument, if Alabama beats Georgia, does Alabama jump someone? But we know that's not going to happen. Alabama is squeezing out lucky wins, Hail Marys, you know, by the grace of God, the football gods blessing them, they not beat you, you thought that you thought that with Bryce Young when Bryce Young then went down there and beat him. You remember Bryce Young beat him? Oh, yeah, that, that was a that was a much, much better, much better Alabama team. Offensively and defensively. Uh but I think things are a little I think I, now. when it's all said and done, I think it'll be Georgia, Michigan, Washington, Oregon. Nah, Washington. Oregon, Washington already beat Oregon. Yeah, but they play for the Pac-12 title. It, it's a, it's they gonna, easy. They gonna, it's they gonna easy. They're going to beat them it's, again. It's easy if Washington beats them again. It's a foregone conclusion. They're undefeated. Yeah, they're going to beat them again. 
They're gonna beat him again. There's too much firepower man, over there. Hey, that Bo, Bo Nix. You got too much Bo firepower. Bo Nix playing though, man. Yeah, Bo Nix playing, but but the dub, but but the Huskies, they they special. Yeah, so okay, they special. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Alabama. I'm gonna go Georgia, Michigan. I'm gonna take the Ducks. Huts. I'm gonna take the Ducks. I'm gonna take the Ducks. Oh come on, man. And who who your number four then? Don't say Alabama. Where's Where's Ohio State? Florida State, but here's the thing: I I, I think Louisville gonna beat Florida State. What? If they Louisville. Hold on, let me plug my computer up I'm because they read. play for the championship, right? ACC. Hmm. Well, here's the thing, though, Ocho. Will the committee take a one loss team? Over an undefeated mm-hmm. team in the college football playoff. Now we look. You know I'm, look, the, Alabama, the committee, the committee uh, Georgia, got all kind Georgia. Of crazy Georgia rules. I, I think Georgia and Michigan's going regardless. Right. Oh yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Because I think from start to finish, they they've been the two the two most dominant teams. Mm-hmm. But if Florida State loses, and say, well, obviously, if Washington beats Oregon, Oregon that's two losses. Again. They're done. Washington's in. Mm-hmm. So now, Ohio State has one loss. Texas, Texas plays Oklahoma State. What happens if Oklahoma? State? See, I, I don't think with two losses, I don't think anybody they didn't take Alabama last year with two losses. So I don't think any two loss yeah, team is gonna make it. Nope. You know what? I'm just gonna say pie in the sky. I'm gonna say Georgia, Michigan, Oregon, Washington. I'm going Bama. I'm going Bama. Roll tie. I ain't gonna, I hate to say it, but I'm gonna say roll tie. All right. Roll tie. Uncultured J donated ten dollars. Asked, hey Uncle, I was in Savannah this weekend. I ate at Carry here. You're just curious. When was the last time you ate at Carry ate there? Uh three weeks ago. <laughs> three weeks ago. When I was in Savannah, we went there and uh we got it to go. I got the uh the fried chicken, white meat, fries, uh I don't know what Jordan got. He got some fish, some fish. He always gets some fish thinking of people college ish. What's it? What's the name Carrie of Carrie Hilliard? Okay, oh, okay. Ooh, I'll be swinging too. It was nice. Jacob donated twenty dollars and asked, "Uh, use your third blessing to slide in the doc DM." <laughs> but here's the thing: as a sniper, when a sniper shoots, nobody hears it, nobody knows it. Ooh. Just target down. Hey. Just target down, Ocho. Go ahead and talk, man. I ain't gonna I say nothing. Aim, I like that one. But I, I got, could not fact, hold, fly. On, hold on. Let me let me write. Let me write that one down <laughs> right there, boy. Yeah, when a when a sniper shoot, nobody. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm stealing all them. <laughs> Benson R yeah, donated ten dollars and asked Unc and Ocho, who do you believe are your top five? Greatest boxes of all time, and love your show. Looking forward to it every day. Top five all time. That ooh, hey Ali. Okay. Um, Floyd, Mike Tyson. Boy, there's so many greats, man. Just to squeeze in that five, boy. Mm-hmm. There's so many greats. Sugar Ray Robinson would be would be at the top. That's your one. Yeah. Um. I think Ooh, uh, Armstrong. Um, I mean, because the... and it and it, it it might be preference it too is. based on who it, you it like, is. Who, who, and who so you many... saw, and who you saw. Yeah, because uh, you know, I saw a Prime Roy Jones, and I thought he was the greatest boxer I'd ever Yo. seen. Um, I saw Prime Sweet Pea, Sweet Wait. Pea Whitaker. I don't know if you remember Sweet Pea Whitaker. Man, yeah, of course, uh, of course. Best defense. Yeah, he was. He was. He was. Flo- he was. Slick. He was Floyd with defense before Floyd. Yeah. Um. Uh, the Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis, but you know back back yeah, back in Joe. the old days, Ocho, them guys would fight 10, 10 times, twelve times a year. Guys were having yeah, one hundred and eighty fights in a career. Yeah, it's different now. Yeah, it's different. Um. So 
Man, I only named I only named three. I said Floyd for me, for me, Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson. I need two more. I'm trying to think. It's so it's so many good ones, man. To squeeze into that. Five. Sugar Ray Robinson is 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 top five for me. Joe Lewis is yeah. top five for me. Um, I'll put Floyd in there, uh, fifty and zero, and the the amount of champions that he did beat. Um, I think mm-hmm. that goes. Um, Ali had the biggest impact. Mm-hmm. Um. But you know, a lot of times getting in is the easy part. It's getting out that's the hard part. Hard and sometimes part, yeah. these boxers we see they should have left, and it kind of yeah. kind of ruins the image that we have of them. Yeah. Um, and that's a good. It one. is. I mean, because you know, all you hear is stories about Jack Johnson. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, some of some of the you know I wasn't able to watch, watch you know some of the people you name fight. Obviously, they were they were they were great ones during their during their time during their era. I, I caught I've seen enough of Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Obviously, I've seen enough of I've seen enough of Floyd. I've seen enough of Mike. Yeah, um, I mean you know Marvin Hagler. Um, you know I came Marvin, up in the eighties I mean, with sugar, the Four sugar, Horsemen. Sugar, sugar, Ray, listen, Sugar Ray yeah. Leonard. No, Tommy Hearns. I thought it's that's, that's yeah. Hard, he can see man. that was George, George Foreman. You got Lennox Lewis. The, I mean, you you got so many so many greats. Yeah, it's kind of hard to just like rank the boxers. You probably have to put them in. A, you right. probably have to put them in a in a category of weight class. The five right. best heavyweights, the five best you know mm-hmm. welterweights, middleweights, you know flyweights. Yeah, because it's it's just it's too hard to to rank just like okay because it's just it's just hard. It's not like basketball. You know what I'm saying? You could just rank basketball. You know, right. you know, football is a little hard because, like, okay, because you kind of t- want to gear towards offensive players. Yeah. yeah unless right. you, um, right. I, unless I, I, you are I, LT that transcends. Right. Because the, the, TJ, the, all, the TJ Watts and all these guys, mm-hmm. the Von Millers and all these guys, the Derek Thomas, mm-hmm. the Cornelius Bennett's, all that's because of, because yeah. of LT. Mm-hmm. He did that. I think, you know, I know who my my favorite boxer is. Now he might not have been the best Ooh. according to his record, but his style and his entertaining style of fighting would be equivalent to me on the football field. Emmanuel Augustus. I'm not familiar with him. Emmanuel Augustus, they call it his nickname was the drunken master. Now if, if you watch, if you you Google him or you watch some of his YouTube YouTube stuff, you'll understand why he's my I, I favorite. Thought- now he wasn't obviously from from record wise, he wasn't the best. But entertainment value, he remind me of Prince. He's like Prince. I, Nassim. I was gonna say that's who reminds me of you, Prince Nassim, about the dancing and turning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do, yeah, do, yeah doing yeah. flips over the top but, rope and all kind of foolishness. Yeah, 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 yeah. But for the, those two, those two right there from an entertainment aspect, man, two, two of my favorites, man, two of my favorites. To be able to, to be able to, as difficult as the, as boxing is, which I consider boxing to be the most difficult sport there yeah. is, for them to be able to entertain the way they do in the ring. I just would love to see what their conditioning was like to prepare for a fight because that the shit they do was crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah, crazy. you ain't gotta tell me. I know. Uh, Patrick Rendon donated twenty dollars and asked Shannon, "Is it true you recited Derek Thomas' girlfriend' phone number in the middle of the game?" <laughs> because DT, no one heard what I said or didn't say, and he's not here to refute it. I just let that go. All I will say this is that I've made peace with DT before he passed, and he and I are in a good spot. So I'm going to leave it at that. No place, underscore like, underscore homes donated. Unk, it was a shame you were not a first battle Hall of Famer. What were your thoughts going in the year you got called up, and how did you feel once you were called up? Um, After I didn't get in on the first two times, I just like, I really didn't have a whole lot of expectations. Um, I know my grandmother had started to get in, and her health was starting to deteriorate even more Ocho and I at least wanted her to me to be able to tell her granny I'm in the hall of fame and I remember when I got that call and I called her I said granny I'm, I made the hall of fame and you know she's like well what's that baby I say uh, <laughs> I say granny that's where all the all the good players go when they retire she say uh Ooh wee, that that show lives nice. 
I sure mm-hmm. hope I'm around to see it. I said, you will be, Granny. You will be. Now, my grandmother passed a month before the actual ceremony. And I mm-hmm. believe that was her way because my grandmother knows she couldn't go and hear me give that speech in that present body. She couldn't see me give that speech in that present body. She had to leave, Ocho. She mm-hmm. had to leave in order to hear and see me give that speech and to give yeah. her her moment. Because as I explained to the people, on, I said, you see this man that did this bus? He went to school to learn how to do this, to turn uh, a bronze or wood into a figure. Me, I didn't go to gifts. I didn't go to school to give Mary Porter a face. Mm. I say this, God gifted me with this to be able to paint a picture. So when I'm done, you know exactly who Mary Porter is and know exactly how she looks. So to, to be able to call her and this, and to give her like, right. I'm, I did it. We did it. Mm-hmm. Um, I call my brother, my, um, say, bro, we did it. Call my sister. She was crying. Call my mom. <laughs> call my homeboy, Bucket and Burns. Um, it was, it was, it was, it was great. I mean, you know, it's, I mean, I didn't think about no Hall of Fame. Ocho. I'm a seventh round draft pick, bro. I'm just trying to make some money. I'm just mm-hmm. trying to get my help, you know, keep my grandmother from having to go to work and, and not have to wash, you know, clean people house or anything. Uh, go fishing when she want to. I wasn't thinking about no Hall of Fame. I just wanted to play. I just wanted, yay. If I could say I played five, three, five years in the NFL, Ocho, I told people I was going. I you told good. people I was going to the NFL. I ain't say I was going to play twenty five yeah. years. I said I'm going to the NFL, play the league. Well, I did right. that, and so man, it was. It's an unbelievable feeling. It's not. It's not who I am. It's what I did. Yeah, and so sometimes people, you yeah. know, well. No, I, they don't. They don't send checks for people to make the Hall of Fame. It's, a, it's an unbelievable honor. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's not, but it didn't change me. I'm still Shannon. Yeah, I'm still you know my homeboys, my kids. I'm 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 still the same. It didn't change me one way, Ocho, but it's an unbelievable honor. Poster child donated ten dollars yeah. and said, "Hey Ocho, who do you think's winning the EPL this year?" Shout out from San Diego. Uh, EPL this year, Uncle, 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 you don't know much about soccer, but right now, uh, listen, Arsenal, Arsenal is doing really mm-hmm. well. Arsenal is doing really well, obviously at the top of the table right now. Didn't the every on replay for Arsenal? Win. Yeah, that I know, was, don't worry yeah, about that. Don't worry about that. Don't, don't talk about no way back then. Don't yeah, talk about that. Was, that was a while ago. Fieri that was a while ago. I, I see. I see, <laughs> I see you. I see you. Yeah, but listen, Holland Man is the City, guy now. Man City was, Holland. Who? Yeah, I don't see that. You somebody, go, no, we, yo, somebody, somebody sent you that stuff. Yeah, Arsenal at the top of the table right now. Hope, hopefully, Arsenal can actually keep a lead and stay at the top of the table and not let Man City overlap mm-hmm. them towards the end of the season. So we'll see okay. what happens. Hey, you know, somebody said to me, so why you get out Because I know somebody said nothing. To you, you must have. Ain't nobody said nothing. I ain't like that. No, no, you don't know nothing about no soccer, man. Sean Kemp. Sean Camp donated ten dollars in the ass. Oh, Prime has a tight end coach vacancy. Any interest? Shout out from Kanye. Zero interest. I don't have the patience. I don't. Coach. I don't. I don't have the patience, bro. I can't go over something all week. We meet about it. We practice it. We gonna go over it the night before the game, and then you f it up. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. John uh John Marshall donated. He said, pardon my interruption. Yo, Ocho, I'm having a live debate on chat how you're a better receiver than Steve Smith. Can y'all please opine on this? I don't know about that one, Ocho. I mean, we, 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 we all I don't, I don't know about that one, Ocho. I I I hate I I I mean what 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 what, what are we gonna debate? I don't know. Oh, Joe, be make a case. You got to make a case. You, you, I'm the judge. I don't, I don't need, I'm I don't, the judge. You got to make a case. To, you got to present a case in front of my court. I don't, I don't need to. I don't need to make no case. I'm Ocho. You Ocho? Steve Smith. Steve Smith was that boy. Now you know me and Steve. Me and Steve. Shit, we go way back to junior college. You know he played. He played 
a little longer than I did, but he was that boy. How long, Steve, how, how long Smitty played? 15 to 16 years. I don't know. He, he played for a little bit. Yeah, because he went know. to Baltimore. He played like three, four years in Baltimore. Because Smitty, cause Smitty, cause Smitty, Smitty came out in 01. Because my last Pro Bowl was he was a rookie and he was the returner for the NFC. Mm -hmm. He played 16. Yeah. 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 He, he played 16? Yes. yes. God damn. Yeah. J Bill nice. NC donated $5. Asked from a single father with two little boys. How did you instill value and discipline in your children during the season or when you couldn't be there? Ooh. That was the moms. My, why was I getting ready to say Because That's their mom told them your dad not lenient like mom. Mm -mm. Your dad is only going to tell you something one time. That's it. And he's going to talk to you in a tone that you're not used to hearing. So the kids were on their best behavior. It wasn't until they got to be teenagers, but the kids really know. It was just my, my oldest because my oldest, she lived with me her junior and senior year. So she's a 16, 17 year old female going through all of what they go through. She want what she wants. She's strong will. Uh, and so, you know, we have to have a lot of conversations. Um, and you know, one of my, one of my, one of my, one of my favorite lines, Kayla, don't make daddy lose his job. <laughs> That's a good one. Don't, don't make daddy lose his job. Uh, but it, it, it's because you hate Ocho because during the season, you know, they would come out early, come out for a couple of games mm -hmm. before it got too cold. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, back right, then, right, right. you know, I would have to, you know, they were good. Uh, my sister would either fly, get, would fly to, to bring them or, uh, my son, my, uh, my girlfriend mm -hmm. would, would, would go get him and, his mother was was great about like okay, I trust you. You trust her mm -hmm. with our son. So you know back then you could walk the kid. You walked out. It wasn't no. You didn't have to. You had to have a mm -hmm. ticket. She walked the kid. My ex would get off the plane, get him. You know, do their pleasantries and get back on the yeah. plane and, yeah. and and bring him. Mm -hmm. And then you know I had to work. So you know, she's she's handling that. Or you know, come time yeah. for trick or treat. She take him to the facility, you know. She go get him, you know, go get him a costume and take him to the facility. So, but it's it's tough. It's tough when you're not there full time, mm -hmm. and yeah, you want things a certain way, mm -hmm. and that's not the way. Because think about it, Ocho. Ninety percent of the time, they do it a different way than what they would do it with you. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they young, that's, they you know four, five, eight years old. They're like, well, mm -hmm. man, I've been doing it. I've been doing it like this forever. Mm -hmm. Why I can't do it like this now? Right. Yeah, that, that's that's funny. The, the the discipline and the morals and the, the the understanding, the value of a dollar, all those other things. Obviously, when I was in season, one of the things that I, I mean, I say it from time to time on here, um, the importance of those you have kids from, the the importance of being on the same page with those that you have kids from. And and understanding as long if if you two are on the same page, everything else is easy. Yeah. Especially when it comes to getting the kids to understand right from wrong, understand the value of a dollar, understanding the life lessons and 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 why things are or why they are. Just it 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 makes life so much easier, mm -hmm. you know, when when it's done that way instead of always being combative, instead of always arguing, and then always always arguing or well, you get the child and dog, yeah. it just it's just it, yeah it causes we, so we much definitely mess tried to make so it. much dysfunction <laughs> we we definitely try to you know not to argue in front of the kids didn't always yeah. work out like that because you know hey yeah you got your yeah. point you want to get your point in i want to get mm -hmm. my point in um right right but right. when it came down to it you know well mm -hmm. what do they want for christmas i right, get it no yeah. they don't need that no no get it right and yeah. so yeah. it was hard but as they started to get older, 
I started getting mm-hmm. less and I just started getting less and less of what they wanted for Christmas. You're not finna get 15 mm-hmm. Christmas gifts. Every and everyone that you want, you're not finna get that because it doesn't work like that in the real world. So as they start mm-hmm. to get older, you have to explain, nah, you're not getting this, this, and this because somebody else got that. Okay, that's fine. No. So as oh, as oh, they got yeah. older, you try you could explain it. They understood. But they're like, but mm-hmm. daddy, you make, yeah. Daddy make you don't. <laughs> you, that's the difference. And you know the, the funny thing: the older they get, for for me, I already got all my Christmas lists already from from all the yeah. kids. The older they get, the smaller the list gets, and just a little bit more yeah, pricey. Thank you. They don't want fifteen things. Just, they want two little things it's, it's, that cost more, more than those fifteen things. Fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't. I don't got the list. I don't got the list. Oh, you got. I, you got your. You got your already. already. Already, yeah. already, already. Mm-hmm. But but I like to get that out the way. I said, don't wait till the last yeah. minute, and then they don't have it, and then you go talk about well, well, when well, they don't have it, you not. I promise you, whatever you put on this list, you not the only one mm-hmm. that want it. You want it, yeah, most definitely. So most definitely, just to make sure you you know you're able to get what you want, or a close facsimile of it. Um, mm-hmm. my son really easy to tr- shop for now. Cause he got my grand. He all he think about is stuff for the baby. I'm like y'all easy. Yeah. Y'all easy. I like it right here. Then like, he go get most just he get most of the stuff anyway. Y'all ain't getting you know get y'all a little gift card. <laughs> they go, go y'all gonna be opening presents to New Year's. All the stuff he go get. Jerry, <laughs> Jerry Lee donated fifty dollars and asked, "Fate of the universe is on the line. Tom Brady's at the helm, and humanity needs a touchdown to live. Fourth and goal at the ten. Up and Ocho lined up out wide. One on one. No safety. Brady throws the ball. Who saves the world? Who gets us killed? If I'm guarding you, Ocho, oh, Ocho, I'm sorry, Ocho. Ocho, I'm sorry. Are you you guarding? I'm guarding me? you. Well then you done. Ocho, I hate to do this to you, Ocho. You done, boy, you done, Mm-mm. man. If 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 the world, the world yes. But one, my specialty, my specialty is beating bumping and running. Ocho, so, Ocho, hold on, hold on. Do you hear what he's saying? It's four things. You say you guard fourth me. and goal at the ten. I'm not gonna press you. Well, you definitely ain't gonna play off. I'm you really off. done. You in no, you in, you in no man's I'm, I'm, land. You I'm can't where, play. I'm right where I want to be. No, yes, I am. No, yes, I am. You already. No, beat. I'm not. You already beat. The world is saved, and I'm gonna tell you the world is saved for the for the ball mm-hmm. snap. Mm-mm. Yeah, Mm-mm. yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, line up five yards, like, and I'm looking at the quarterback. By the time you look at the quarterback and get your ass back back on me, I'm gonna I'll, be gone. Look here, it's fourth and goal. All I gotta do is keep you out the end zone. Yeah, all right. It sounds good. That's what everybody said. That's what everybody said when I was playing too. I just gotta keep you out the end I'll zone. That, I'll put that soup bone on you. I don't. Oh, see you that. see that? I put I'm, that soup bone I'm, on I'm you. Saying, listen. I'm going right just through ima- that. Ocho, just imagine. I'm a bigger Rebus. <laughs> I'm a bigger Rebus. Boy, I'm a bigger never, Rebus. Ever. You talk about what? You talk about I'm Butthead big, and Beavis? I'm a, re- I'm a bigger Rebus. Ocho, Ocho. Mm-mm. Ah. Ocho, Ocho, no. you know if I, hey, Ocho, I got to do it, put the clamps on you. I touch you, it's over that, for you. I, 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 don't, I don't even get touched. I just... Reavers touch you. Reavers pressing you. I didn't get no, no. I didn't get touched at the line. Reavers. I the ball just wasn't complete. Nah, Reavers. I was like, man, Reavers did this to man here. Nah, I see that you go line. <laughs> yeah, nah. yeah, you can turn. You can turn on the field. Ocho, Ocho, that right. Where you going? Mm-mm. I'm gonna have you right here, all up Mm-mm. in your collar like that, right there, Ocho. You too little anyway, man. I'm going to talk you out your <laughs> game so I know for Ocho, fourth and goal Ocho, on the 10. Ocho, you do I'm realize scoring. I'm a professional talker, right? Yeah. What you mean? I wrote the book on Ocho, talking. I, was t- I wrote the book on talking trash. Not only did I write the book, I walk it when I talk it Ocho, too. Ocho, I read the, I wrote the preface. So the first part, so you, okay, you wrote a couple of chapters. But the first thing they read. No, 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 no. Yeah! Read, read the, read, read, read the, read the content, read the contents. Ocho, Ocho come on, Ocho, you know this what no, I you do. Don't, you don't, Ocho, you don't, you they don't, already voted me. Ocho, they already voted me. Talk, Ocho. 
No, I'm I'm the number one no, trash talker of all time. What are you talking about? You want to see the list again, Ocho? Nah, that 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 boo boo ass. Don't do that because it's boo boo because you're not number one, and I ain't I ain't number one either. But I'm higher than you. Trust me, the people that know know. The people that know know. The pe the people that know or need to know, they know. What they know, Ocho? The greatest, not only talker but entertainer of all time. Is sitting on the other side of this this lens. They're looking at him, and they know what it is. Yeah, right here, right here. I got my hair ain't done, so I had to wear a skull cap. What hair? You ain't got no hair. Oh, I got I got hair. Oh man, you know what? what? I'm going to the game tomorrow. What game? The Philly Lakers oh, game. Oh yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I got I got to do I got to do inside the NFL, but I'm flying in a day yeah. early uh, to go to the game. I'm 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 sitting courtside. What time the game come on? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, shoot I I, I four what seven thirty. This is my Chad, first game for the Chad, year. They voted you 18th best trash talker of all time. Can you please tell me? And that, them and them, them is is they again? Who you think? Who you who you think? Who you think? Who you think made that? The same people, the he, same people that be voting listen, for Pro Bowl are all pro team. You ain't had no problem with yeah, they voting you all pro. You didn't say these people don't know what the listen, hell they doing, did you? They don't know it. They don't oh, okay. know what they're doing. Ask the people that played the game who the number one trash talk of all time is. Not no, not no voters. I ain't talking about no voters. They ain't never played no, no football. No, no, don't do that, Ocho. Now you trying to diminish me to the top five. You trying to diminish me. <laughs> I ain't, I'm not trying to diminish you. You trying to undermine me. Ask the people that actually played the game with us who the greatest talker. Who called the national? Who time. called the national guard on the Patriots? Who called I'm, the national guard on the Patriots? That was you. That was that was cool. That was that was. Did all you right. heard what the man asked that me? Was, the was, man just right. asked me a question. You heard the man ask me. I'm the only man get thirty yards. I get thirty yards. I got thirty yard penalties on one drive. You ever did that? Shoot, I got I got fined three me. I got. Three million in fines throughout my career. You ain't got no fine on three million dollars. Where we at? Total. Make sure you click that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe click button. Click the like button. We at where we at? We at three forty six six fifty two. Well, y'all try to take all my y'all take all my little money. I ain't gonna have no money this month. You can take my money. It's the holidays. I don't even care. I mean, that's I why I need my I money. It's my the Christmas. holidays. I I didn't got my Christmas shopping out the way. I ain't got that, mine. That, that, you should have been. You should have been. Shoot, I finished Christmas shopping in August. You late? Hey, you know, mom, sister, brother, three kids, grandkid. Well, you don't. You don't want me to. You don't want me to name my all yeah, my yeah, kids. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. You ain't. You ain't. Boy, you got. You got it easy. See, my mom. My That's mom. I got mine. I got mine. I just I, give my mom and sister money. That's, that's it. it. They don't. You get here, get what you want. Yeah. I don't know why. I mean, it's Christmas every. It's every Christmas every month for them. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, that's. You you wear the crown. No, you know I I just think the thing is that this jo at this juncture the last thing my sister because she had the most important job because she had to be there and protect the most important asset which was our grandmother. Right. So mm. my mind and my brother's mind could be at ease. She gave right. up whatever she might have wanted to become or what she wanted mm -hmm. to do to make sure Granny was taken care of. So for right. that, there ain't no price tag. We've been taking care of my sister. My sister hadn't had a job since hell, yeah, the late eighties. Mm. But taking care of Granny, like that was that. a job. That's her job. Right. Whatever right. Granny okay. need, whatever time of the night, whatever it is, hey, you there? You handle that. And That's for that, bad. you'll never have to work a day in your life. My mom, well, she had the most. She had the most important job. She gave birth to me. <laughs> mm. So her job, she 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 getting she getting royalties for for, for the rest of her life of mm. of what she did in nineteen sixty eight. You know how people say you, yeah. they own their catalog. Well, mm -hmm. I'm a catalog. Yeah, and then my brother, hey. It's done. You know, he he's straight too. You got any brothers, Ocho? Yeah, 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 yeah. Chauncey, I know he I know Chauncey probably probably you watching Sam. 
Yeah, Shanita. Got my sister Shanita. How many brothers and sisters that? That's it. That's it. And so it's four of y'all? That's it. Yeah. yeah. Where you fall at in the rank? Two. Number two. I mean, we, we all in all 46, 46, 45. Yeah, right, right, right down the road. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ocho, you need to stop this though, man. It'll man, you know, with, with every time people say, man, Ocho be trying to set you up. You need to let Ocho sit you up with such and such. Sit you up with me. Bro. Yeah. No. Why? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong with what's they, 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 Ocho, they ain't, ready, they ain't ready for me. You know, I'll be on them, I'll be on them diamonds, Ocho. <laughs> so, you know, leave me alone. Hey, listen, can I ask yeah. you a question? Like, I don't I listen to rap, but I don't listen to much uh -huh. rap to where I understand. But if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. Megan Thee Stallion, yeah. her, her music, yeah. most of the time, the people, when you rap, you rap about things that you know and experiences that you yeah. do. And you be talking about that, that diamond. I don't think that's really going to work. That's the point of her name. Uh, the point of her being a stallion. It, it 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 supersedes anything that you're Ocho. saying. I know she's so good. You, are, are, are you scared? No, but hey, I understand, Ocho. The old the, my grandpa used to say, "Boy, they can look down longer than you can look up. They mm. look up longer than you can look down." You know what I'm saying, Ocho? Mm. But hey, yes, sir. I have a stretched out like a quarter to three. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Ocho? Don't play with me, <laughs> Ocho. You better stop playing with me, Ocho. Huh? Bad please. Man, I'm too old, yo boy. I bet I got that liquid now on me. I keep that liquid on me now. <laughs> According to what? Of three? <laughs> Meg, I know you're going to see hey, this, Meg. I, I know you're going to see this. Three ways. Do it to a three ways, Ocho. Deep, hard, and continuously. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got, boy, Ocho. You better stop playing. Meg. What? Meg, I know you're going to see Meg ain't going to see nothing. Meg, gonna I know you're going to see out. this, Ocho. Man, listen, Meg. Unk right here, mm -hmm. man. I'll let him. I ain't, I ain't got to say nothing. I ain't got to say he's shooting this shot. I ain't no shooting no shot. Man, man, look at man. I was, you know, we just having some fun, Ocho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is all, yeah, that's that's how it started. I was opening it's up like saloon fun. doors. <laughs> you better stop it. <laughs> oh, Joe, boy. Y'all don't know about O'Shea. Boy, Shea was hell when he was well. I was my lip. You know, my walk a little off right now. But you know, <laughs> I still, you know, I still do a little something here and there. Hey, listen. Boy. Now, you already had, you, you got a bad boy, hip. They think good. Slow, Them things good. Slow down, Ooh, no, they good, Ocho. They good, they good now, Ocho. And me, let me let me let me hit let me hit Meg people, man. No, you don't so, need to hit Meg you know, people. <laughs> you don't need to hit Meg people. Yeah. I, I want no problem, yeah. though, Joe. I just you know we me and you just we just chewing the fat. I don't, nah, nah, no, nah, nah, don't get scared now. Nah, I'm nah. scared. Nah, I don't get I'm scared, scared now. Nah. You just just pop that down. <laughs> nah, 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 look, I got hundred milligram of liquid now. You <laughs> have <laughs> But that, that that liquid, that that liquid. Now nah, they don't do them the pill. They got that liquid. That thing fast acting. Yeah, yeah. yeah man, it's I, the I, truth. Okay, okay, I got, I got, I got. I mean, I would, I ain't, I ain't got to try that, but you know, I guess <laughs> whatever, whatever work, whatever it works, work. whatever works. I, I ain't got that it yet. Work. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> you were wrong. <laughs> What what you laughing for, Ocho? What I do now? Hey man, you, hey, hey, you gonna get me in trouble? Man. What I do? What trouble, I do? Man. What I do, Ocho? I'm just trying. To, I just listen. I'm just. That's all I, I did. I throw I my hands know. up, Ocho. I ain't bothering nobody. Yeah, I thought. Oh, I thought I got. I thought. I thought. I thought I got that text. Told me keep it cute. My bad. No, I'm good. I'm yeah, good. They, yeah. That's what. That's why we do, Ocho. We keep it cold on here. I I ain't got nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we gonna we gonna, we gonna you know, hey, like, you ain't gotta say much, you know. I'm I'm gonna I'm take the cue, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna do what oh, I need to do on up? my end, man, to make sure, yeah, make sure Meg get to you. But she gonna see this. Shoot, Meg might be watching. Yeah, that's that's that that got a nice little ring to it, Uncle and the Stallion. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> man, Meg knees too good. Man, you see how Meg be bothering uh-huh. her knees, man? Oh, yeah. She must be having knee. Yeah, man. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I see knees like Barry Sanders' knees. You know how Barry knees be yeah, curtain. Yeah. You, woo, 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 a bad yeah, knee. Yeah. She got she. He got she got good knees. She got good knees. You got bad hips. She got good knees. That's a perfect man, match. Ocho, Ocho, I'm cutting out. How how she gonna be stretched out, Ocho? Like a quarter to three. Quarter to quarter to three. <laughs> hey, you better stop playing, Ocho. <laughs> man, thank y'all for joining us for another episode of Nightcap. Please make sure you click hey. that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe yes, button. Uh... Guys, you've been unbelievable. Somehow, I got a feeling that o- Ocho and I are going to have to get off our 10 to 20 bands by tomorrow. Because you definitely, you definitely going to put us over uh, 350 by tomorrow. So thank you for guys. Somebody call somebody call Meg. Call me. Oh Lord have mercy. No, don't call Meg. Y'all make sure Meg. Y'all look should y'all make sure Meg get this. Ocho. Man, we just having fun, Ocho. Listen, we just having fun. Listen, I know I listen, nah. It all started with fun. It like Sherelle slid in my DM as fun. You sent them eyes. You see where we at now. <laughs> Ocho. Shit. Ocho. Two, Ocho. Two, Ocho. Uh, a, a child, a child later, two, two. Nah, don't Ocho. do that. It all started as fun. <laughs> Ocho. Meg. Ocho. Ocho. I ain't Ocho. Meg. I ain't bother nobody, Ocho. I'm just nah, hey, I'm just a 55 year old granddad just trying to just trying to find my way in the world. That, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Don't don't fold now. Don't fold <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> Ocho. You see what I'm saying? You say nope. Nope, I ain't got nothing for you. Nope, nope, I ain't got nothing for you. I ain't got nothing for you. Hey. I ain't got nothing for you, Ocho. <laughs> we gonna get you right, though. We gonna get you right, baby. You ain't, you ain't too old now. We ain't too old? We gonna get you right. Hello, nah, we ain't, you ain't too old now. Oh, Lord, Hammer. Yeah, old. we gotta go, Ocho. I gotta go to work in the morning. Stephen A. Stephen A. What Molly happened? gonna be in studio. We in L.A. tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. So we y'all, y'all handle yeah, that, we, man. We so I got a, I got, a, I got a fight in the morning, man. Yeah. Finish. Yeah. Ocho. Yeah, so you have some <clears throat> some uh, talk back about the game because the game's at what four o'clock? Oh, yeah, four thirty. I think the game's at four thirty. Nah. Oh, your yeah. time, like seven thirty, yeah. eight thirty. Yeah. One of them. I don't know. I just I just want to sit on. This, I'm sitting course. I just want to heckle them boys, talk and talk shit. Man, you ain't gonna do nothing. Five fifteen. No, I'm saying the, the foot the basketball game. You going to the basketball game? The Lakers and the Philly Sixers. Lakers. I think that's at four thirty. My time. Ash, pull it up. What time is it? I think it's at four thirty. Oh. Normally, East Coast games at four thirty, right? It's at four o'clock. Okay, okay, four okay, o'clock. okay. Yeah. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Nightcap. Make sure you click that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're at over three hundred and forty-six thousand. There's no question in my mind we're going to reach that Woo! magic number of three fifty tomorrow. And forty winners will win five hundred dollars each. That's right. Ocho and I will be giving away. Twenty thousand dollars. Twenty bands. Twenty bands. Twenty bands. So thank you. I'm your favorite sports uncle, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number eighty five. Bengals legend, Ring of Famer, Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. I love y'all. Good night. <laughs>